The thoughts, views, and opinions expressed by the hosts of this podcast are for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, it is not serious. It is not real. None of it. No one is exposing, revealing, indicting, or telling you anything about themselves. Also, we do not encourage you to try this at home. We are trained professionals who do not have your best interests at heart or our own. Now, enjoy the show. Tell them what we're about to argue about. You Give just gave recap. Corey a recap. Come on, let me we're, walk the dog for you. We're, we're outside. Mm-hmm. 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 So we are, as a, as a team, we're trying to make a conscious effort to curse less. Mm. Say the B word less, the N word less, as a collective. All cursing, yep. Right? Mm-hmm. So Joe talks about how his cousin is riding with his wife and his mom, and we just throwing F-bombs. We just letting it go. And it's embarrassing, right? Mm-hmm. So he says, Yeah, I'd be embarrassed. No, nah, it is. Mm-hmm. I'd be embarrassed. I know the, the, we have an older demo. We do. And it don't really hit you till you be in the street, is what I was explaining to these brothers. Like, you be outside, and somebody's aunt, great aunt, great aunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, somebody older come like, yo, my daughter put me on here. I should be playing it from the room. I'd be like, oh, word? Yikes. Or, or like, <laughs> th- Thanksgiving. I got an aunt, my aunt, 94. So she's sitting at the table. Yo, where, where can I listen to your show? Nah, yeah, chill, yeah, auntie. Yeah, don't even yeah, worry no, about it. You, no. you good. Don't worry about that. Four, y'all fucking Jamaicans live. <laughs> she's not Jamaican. That's the yo, black Jama- side. That's oh. the, the yeah, chitlins. Yeah. Chitlins anyway. extend yeah. your joint, yo. Yeah. Anyway. I, no, so so I'm like, oh, but they old anyway. And they, they like they like y'all gray hairs. I said, so I said, Joe, you know you got gray hair too, right? They no, said, I wasn't saying. I wasn't saying that... Uh, they old and they like your gray hairs. I was saying, we're relatable. Yeah, I want to be mindful of this now because, like, our part is we attract that. I said, you dudes is all gray haired in the face, looking <laughs> old and stupid in the face. <laughs> <laughs> you dudes, yeah, excluding uh, just, just, just y'all. Me yeah, and yeah, the Newark just, boys, just us dudes. Just yeah, us you dudes, that's y'all. Pickety got grays, I but I'm talking grays. to y'all. Okay. He's got like white privilege. <laughs> There's a time where everybody's privilege has to pop out. And I got some privilege. So you were saying. So, so I, I, I said, I yo, said, fam, hey, you know you got gray hairs too, right? You must mm-hmm. speed it up. This Listen fool says, yeah, but mine don't count. I'm a rapper. No, nah, I used to rap. I get a pass. What? That's rapper privilege. Facts. I would like to hear the uh, I really want to hear this. I, yo, dog, stop. <laughs> you got to get your Kardashian, Shapiro, Johnny Cock. What? You woke him up? I want to hear you defend this. I don't. May, I need y'all to explain why I'm wrong. May, maybe teach me. What do you mean defend this? So if he's a teacher and he's an engineer, but you're a rapper. This, let me ask you this. <laughs> you could be great. Let me ask you this. And this is what. Yo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are y'all missing? What are y'all missing Sweet about fam. there are certain exceptions that are made for people that have been famous or have notoriety for X amount of years? Ish comes in here every other pod and says, yo, uh, he highlights when those perks jump out for me versus him because I'm famous. That's mm-hmm. true. So my thing is, why do he think that that is not widespread or don't apply to great hairs? A lot of people have this, you know how certain songs give you a photo, a photographic memory of where you were when yes. you heard it? Yes, yes. That same thing applies somewhat for celebrityism. I agree. Like Emmanuel Lewis is still Emmanuel Lewis in my head. 30 years. Mm-hmm. I don't know how old he is. I don't know what he looked like today because it's just embedded in my head. Indeed. So that's what I mean when I say my grades hit different because I rapped. Because they caught me at every phase. They caught me when I shaved all the shit off. They caught me when I looked 19. I probably never looked 19. But <laughs> <laughs> they just, I don't think their image that's uh, cemented in their head of me is... Gray hair Joe. Now, for you gentlemen, y'all have just been discovered by mass, by the masses. Uh, Their introduction is to the gray to you. That boy good is (laughs) older, mature, wiser ish (laughs) with gray. They don't know you. Not many people have seen us arguing about uh, rent in New York in 2008 on YouTube, where your your eyes was popping a little more out your face. (laughs) Skin was looking a little more young, <laughs> vibrant, so fresh and so clean. Ice was always just a Twitter handle. They never really, he never really put his face up there. So this is people's yes, intro. Did. Oh, stop it, Ice. This is people's introduction. So that's my only difference. I, with that, I close my argument. 
You think people still picture you with like the chin strap and for the most part. Okay. For the most part. That's what you think. For the most so part. So let me ask you this. Do you think your rap career is what you're known more for by the masses than the pod? I think they still call him a rapper. They like, do. No, they, no, no, no. In a write up or something do. like that. That's, yeah. They, the notoriety, the wa- the worldwide notoriety, much more from the pod, exactly. Which is, ta da. Yeah, no. Nigga, gray is gray. Yeah, that's that's, I, I, that's what I was getting to. I heard all of that. I don't, don't want to hear that. that, that. We all oh, growing older, nigga. The gray is here. I don't really see it. I know. That's it. That's cool. I just don't see it. Yo, the, fan, the, the fancy hats don't hide the grays, bro. I they just, don't know you, but, but they knew them for fancy like my, clothes and shit now, though, right? That you wasn't wearing before. Yeah. Not many. See, but even in that, most people don't know how podcasters make money. So when girls used to, let me say used to, or when girls see me, f*** that, I can talk and blur that. Uh, <laughs> when girls see me today and come around maybe because I'm cute or funny, I can spot the shock in them from me having like this type of stuff. <laughs> the car and just all that. I see the shock. What? I would agree with that. Come on. To that Come level. On. No, no, no. Because. <clears throat> Come on. I know you I, hate to no, be on my no, side no, no, with no, something, no. but. I'm, I'm, no, I'm trying to work. <laughs> me, yo. That's, no. The level of the. I think they think that you're getting money. But they don't think you're getting Maybach money. They don't think you're getting two and three thousand dollars shirt money. They only reserve that for the athletes. Mm. Even most rappers don't. I mean, we know. But most rappers don't have money like that. You get mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. you got on a three thousand dollar shirt. They like, oh damn, or the oh, bag. Oh, he doing it like that. Oh, I ain't know it was that. You get what I'm saying? So I agree with him. Like, I, I could see a BMW or a Benz money. I don't know about Maybach money. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's yeah. just a difference. It's so I, I would agree with you. Three thousand dollar glasses, shit like that. They like, oh, that's a different type of bread. Mm-hmm. So I, I would agree with that. There. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. You successfully backed them up off you, Joe. You was in the corner. <laughs> they had you. They had weapons. Oh, not they sharp knives, guns. Damn. This, Hop the this gate. is like we was back in foxes again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Niggas try to kill me in foxes. All right. Uh, how am I feeling? How am I feeling? How am I feeling? Oh, now I got to tell you about yourself. <laughs> got to tell you about yourself now. I'm sorry, Stank. <laughs> Get to that point in the argument where you got to tell your girl some hard truths. That's a lot of hate. Yeah, it is. That's a lot of hate. There's a Boy, lot. That's hate. Definitely. Sometimes you've hated. Sometimes like you that hate. Before. Come on, Crazy. own your hates. You know, own your hates. I don't gotta do that. You've never, never, never. You know, hate I hate when you do that. Never hate. I mean, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with never you today. It? I'm done with no, you I've today, buddy. I've no, we laughing. Saying, it, we laughing at this. Yeah. You know how Ish has never done very normal man things. Mm-hmm. Joe, I was raised by different types of niggas. I, honestly, you was raised by different types of niggas. So it shocks me that you resort to some of these things. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying don't really have a whole lot to do with upbringing, I guess, because we come from some of the same places. Okay. But when you intro women into the equation and emotions, as a man, you learn some things about yourself. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what I'm that's talking about. Facts. So I agree with that. Yes, I had an image of how I would act when my partner left with the guy with more money. How that happened, <laughs> how it played out. I mean, it didn't match the image that I had of myself. <laughs> that never that's happened. all I'm saying. That never happened. And in hindsight. I was hating. Yes. I, w- I believe you. I was hating. Uh, I called you about it, nigga. No, you called him too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, bro. It's cool, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, guys, yo, yeah. that, my, that's a different kind of hate right there. I, 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 you, you yeah, but him? that's why I don't like doing pods with people that know me like no, this. <laughs> because <laughs> some things shouldn't make it to a pod. I'm ashamed of that. You should be. I'm ashamed of that. But yeah. I think that you nah, need that. Nah, you get a pass, though. I think that you need that, you though. Rap? No, you get a pass because right, so I'll fight you today. <laughs> today I'll fight one of y'all. This is, my, this is my opinion. Yo, when you're in love, the rules don't apply. That's when you, that's when you get your head off. I never just I've been heartbroken, but I never like lost my girl to the nigga that was had more bread. 
Whatever you lost her to I just lost my girl Because I was doing dumb shit Yo you so never you-, you never know And I'm gonna trigger Some people out there You never know How big of a goof Your girl is Until y'all break up For a couple weeks That is true Yeah <laughs> That is true That's fine. Y'all That's don't true. even know How or to break do up it yeah, yeah y'all yeah. know How to do it right Y'all get goofy off the rip Or how goofy you'll be Until you be heartbroken So now it look like I'm hating True. But I really love your goofy ass Trying to protect you from that bo- Man That's hate <laughs> that's Yo hate. trying that's to hate. Pre- hate. trying to protect her is hate that's, It's hate That's what you're yeah. you, got, you got to let her do it Yeah but you Because they be lying They be lying to us They be lying to themselves Why was I calling that man he picked, he picked up and spoke to me too. We used to kick it a little they bit. Was Let me tell you. Now, we, used, we used to kick it. Yo, I tell you what this nigga said. We used to kick it a little bit. I said, yo. I can see how he got her. The guy, the guy, the guy is intelligent, yo. He's a smart guy. It sounds like I'm talking to you. <laughs> no, no, he's a smart guy. He's a smart guy. We broke down with it. We broke it down. We unpacked that thing. Uh, he was a rat, though. Damn. He was. He was a rat. That's how he bagged her, like on some snitchy shit. Mmm. Oh, see, I don't respect that. Yeah, that's corny. It that's was corny. corny. That's dirty, hate. Dirty I was, was going to say, yeah, hey, dirty Mac, though. Is it okay to, to, is it like a reverse hate? Like a reverse in Uno? You put it down? <laughs> yeah. Because um, am I hating if you started if with you hate? Started with you started with the hate. You're still hating, though. Yeah, yo, you still hate. Somebody snitch on you. Because it snitch back. Right. Yo, my whole career, niggas was snitching. Yeah. Men. The niggas was hating. Yeah, that's that's because they was man. like, I got more of this than him. I got more of that than that's him. How cousin. he get him? That's, that's, your, that's your man. You hang around some rats. <laughs> Damn, that's I hang, why I, had I hang to, around. That's him. why I had to distance myself. I hang from you around for a him. Bit. That's why I had to distance <laughs> that's you, myself. That's what from you, you did. Huh? Now you got to hanging. You got to hanging with. It was a wild crowd for a Yo, couple years. Like, cool. Yo, listen, <laughs> Fab, you you. I don't do that. Listen, we got bigger fish to fry. We do. Part, oh, let me hit drops. Yeah, I didn't intro this thing. I didn't do anything yeah, because yeah. I love you guys, man. What, what, how does this shit start? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a good mood. How does this start? All right, four eighty two, five eighty two. Five, yes. <laughs> 482, so it's dark. <laughs> oh, shit. That was dark times. That's where these grades came from. <laughs> 482. Yeah, oh, my God. I'm later four. <laughs> I'll be laughing at y'all parlor talking about, welcome to episode 99. Yeah, you just wait. <laughs> you just keep it up. Keep got at it. Got a little speed bump coming? Yeah. Uh, welcome uh-huh. to episode 582. Yeah. 582 of the Joe Budden Podcast. I'm your host, Joe Budden, uh, and niggas is here. Uh, it's just here. Ice is here. Corey's here. Parks is here. Erickson is here. Our our remote people are here. Niggas is here. Shouts to gang. Mm-hmm. Gang, gang. Oh, man. And everyone here is important. Trust me, I know that around tax time. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> or not. <laughs> cool, uh, everyone bro. here is needed and, <laughs> and important God, to the to the functioning of this operation. God, oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> Come on, what you going through? Talk to me. Not, nothing. <laughs> Parks, come on, tell us. For those that don't know, Parks went to his high his wife's high school reunion. That's right. That's he right. was hurt plus one. I was. We unpacked that on a later Patreon episode. We did. And that's why I are. was dressed up last week. Yeah, that's why Parks was dressed up. Round of so, applause. Someone said that oh, was my evil twin. Nah, they was on you, fam. You should have yeah. came in there. You might have to do that a little more often. Some of the Patronis tried to hate. And they said that we was hating and we not really friends because he ain't look right in the boots and the tux. Y'all niggas just don't have sauce. Yeah. Oh, no. We don't he look, actually liked it. Yeah. yeah. I like things with it character. No, yeah. 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 That so, looked like him. It did. Yeah. Yeah, but now I need to, we need deets. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, we gotta hear this. It was uh it was it it was well, exactly as I thought it would be. I was awkwardly sitting in the corner most of the time. I was surprised by the demographics. Why? She went to a Christian school. I didn't really factor that in, but there was like a lot of different groups of people there, which led to a fairly segregated party for the most part until everyone got drunk and then it turned the fuck up. Uh, but it was pretty fun, man. I mean, the DJ was a little blend happy. That can throw off my vibe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yo, <laughs> listen to this guy. No, yo. no, no, I'm, I'm no, old. Yo, I had, bad, yo, fam, I had fam, a bad experience me. this week too. Me, I had a bad me. experience too, but get your shit nah, off. The, the blend, like he put like, in the club over candy shop, bro. You, you're doing too much. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're doing too much. Mm-hmm. Like that. Those are damn near the same song. Like emotionally in a club vibe. You don't have to blend them. It's cool. Yeah. 
But it was Jersey shit. I know that that's y'all shit over here. Like everything went into the Jersey house beat at some point. Wow. You know what I'm saying? First of all, watch your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Don't, don't say it. Don't say it like that. No, the fucked up blend. But you know it's Jersey shit. Don't say it. Don't say it like that. Well, when I'm in Jersey, I expect that shit to a degree. But why I gotta be that shit though? Yeah, I don't like it. Cause that's that shit though. <laughs> Boy, you, you know what I mean? You're good. You're good. You're good. So, you're good. so if, on a scale of one to ten, if you had to rate your wife's job of ingratiating you to, oh, she scene. did great. She was mad at me though, cause I didn't want to be ingratiated that much. I was perfectly fine sitting in the corner texting my dad. Like, can't do that, fam. <laughs> I know, I know. She brought you there to stunt, my nigga. You like, I know, but I was yeah, tired. He's we, over there. We worked all That's day. That's how you want your husband to look. You don't want him all up in your face. My husband over there chilling. Nah. In case one of y'all act up in here. No, it depends on what she wants. Yeah. She you know what I'm saying? Like, if up. she wants you to be chill, then you be chill. She, she wants you to, want you to be... She wants me to kind of do that. But then the party went on. There was an after party thing, and I turned up a little bit more, had a little more fun, so... Oh. Well, right, no, the, the, the music... I really, like, people neglect how much the music can impact your time. Absolutely. If you are not feeling the vibe, it subconsciously will have you sitting in a corner texting on your phone. It, it'll, throw every, it'll throw up. everything off. Yeah. 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 The DJ downstairs was turning up. He was playing that shit. So down there, I was having a little more fun. I'm running around, talking to everybody a little more. That's why I can't do the white strip clubs. Mm. It'd be the music. Oh, is that why? Yeah. <laughs> that, he... <laughs> How do you, you come on, buddy? No, no. Hey, you, you, right it was yeah. right there, yo. yo it'd no, be but, a glass door. Sometimes you just don't realize it's a door. It's just, yeah. We get it. Yeah, it's stupid. Yo. I go in the strip club Friday night. Mm -hmm. Friday night is Friday night because Saturday they might play some fucking Nelly Furtado or some Spanish shit. They might get more Spanish music on Saturday night. So you go on Friday night. Friday night, walk in, and they playing songs that they've never played before on a Friday night. It's at midnight, get out my life, and you mean my... Just is not the scene for whatever they're doing. I think there was a whole... This is a strip club? Yes. One that I frequent is uh, it, with, is the, it? with the gangsters and the gang members. Yo, was, uh, it, was it the normal DJ, or was it somebody else? Because well, that matters. Twenty. It's the holiday, so it could have been a... Yeah. 35 minutes into my night as I'm questioning the DJ and the hype man. Now there's someone on the mic mm. that's trying to hype these bad song selections. The fuck? The bartender <laughs> pulls me close and says, oh, can you believe <laughs> the DJ? I said, what do you mean? That's not our regular DJ. I said, tell me more. He said, yeah, there's been an issue with the regular DJ, so at the last minute they had to bring in a guy from Connecticut. I said, ha ha! There you go. Uh, there Wait, you go. the guy from Connecticut. So him and the hype man are from Connecticut yeah, that's on a team. Friday night in the Bronx where the gangsters and the gang members are. Mm. And 10 minutes after me and her had that conversation, guess what came on? You you guessed it. Takashi. Oh. <laughs> and that was my first time seeing. That come on in a place where some people will object to this. Mm. And I was one of them, but there were a couple of, a mob of people rushed the DJ booth. <laughs> it almost got bad, is what I'm saying to mm -hmm. you. I was, I was amazed at how everybody mm. acted just in unison when this record came on. He shouldn't have played that there. Important to know your surroundings yeah, when you're sure, running around right. playing these records. Mm -hmm. Right, that's true. Many a DJ have gotten beaten up for playing the wrong record at the wrong spot. Yeah. Very vital information for you guys out there. And we don't condone that. We don't condone that. But I'm it can a, happen. I'm about yeah, safety can. and peace like NBA Youngboy is. Fact. I like that. I like I, all I that, that safety and peace shit mm -hmm. from people that are... Yeah. yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, well, kudos to Parks. Yeah, it was fun. It was cool. Kudos to Parks for his... Uh, we made the most of it. All right. She went to school in Patterson, right? Yeah. I'm definitely not going to my Christian high school reunion. <laughs> I'm sorry, he left that part out before. <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, I don't know if the yeah. I don't know if the biddies is going to be no, over no, here. No, no, they will. Oh, yeah. At the Christian, I don't know if you know about Catholic school. You don't know. Yeah. That's okay. Know. You just don't know. Never seen um, Benedictine Academy. Boys in Hood. Yes. Nigga said the Catholic school girls is the biggest hoochies. <laughs> you don't remember that. 
<laughs> New Jersey Catholic schools. It was yes. up. It yes. was up, up. Up. Upstate. Way it was up. Yeah, it was up. Yeah, it was up. Yeah. Fam, I don't know what same, you're talking about. That's what you wanted. Uh, what was that? One that was a little Catholic bus stop. Oh. They had the skirt yeah, rolled yeah, up yeah, all, yeah. all, all, all the way. Yeah. Any girl that ever went to St. Mary's is, yeah. You wanted them. Mm-hmm. That was the one in Jersey City. St. Mary's. Mother Seton, Benedictine. But we just looked Mary at them. Long. We just oh, okay. called we them the, the, the schools with the uniforms. <laughs> I know. They was uniform. Mary's ain't one of them, right? Uh-uh. uh-uh. They just made you wear a uniform. Mary's wasn't. Mary's makes My you wear a uniform. My cousin used to go to, I don't, I don't know. If oh, was man. Mary's in the Hall of Fame, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Mary's is in the Hall of Fame. Especially if you hoop. Because they had the skirts that, we about to say I'm nasty now. <laughs> 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 no. no, they had, they had, uh, uni- uniforms and colors that was uh, representative of the year you were in. So you could spot oh, who the freshmen, the freshmen, uh, freshmen, y'all couldn't wear the blue oh, that's joints. ugly. Mm. That was nice. So you knew who the boy <laughs> you, knew, you just, you, you just knew where to shoot. There. This was many years. I'm talking, <laughs> I can't do math, but a long time ago. You knew where to shoot. <laughs> Maris? Ask about me and Maris, man. <laughs> Maris, too. Ask. Mm-hmm. Your, Ask. Your jersey up there? I was gonna say, and rest in peace to my uh, my marriage guy uh, Keith McMurray. He died in our childhood. That's my man. Uh, I was gonna save this for later, but since you walking me right into it with my marriage jersey being in the Hall of Fame thing, so this is the bad part about doing so many drugs and pills throughout life. Your memory can get a little foggy. So there are bits and pieces of life that I remember and I don't remember. Uh-huh. <sighs> But I bumped into a I bumped into an interview from a gentleman named Kurt Smalls. I know y'all don't know who that is, but I went to high school with Kurt Smalls. Kurt Smalls was the star basketball player. That nigga was nice. He was a different type of nice. You couldn't tell me he wasn't. And rest in peace, Coach Gil uh, Gil Reynolds. Rest in peace, Coach Gil. Not too much on Gil. But anyway, so I bump into his interview. And he starts talking about me. <laughs> that guy could set a pick. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, is that the dude that was in your class that sat a couple seats or something? No, this is in high school. Oh, it's a different dude. Oh, okay. This is, see, now Parks, Parks made me mad. <laughs> <laughs> You're, I played basketball with you. You set a good pick. Can I play it for you? Let's hear it. This guy. Pure yeah. hustle. But you're at Longburg with one of hip hop's most recognizable personalities in Joe Button, right? Yes. Kurt was ranked yeah, like bro, top 50 in the country. When you like, sent he me was... that interview and I'm reading it, I had to click back twice and I'm like, Joe Button played for Lauren Burke? First of all, I didn't even know Joe Button played ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Joey, man, that, that was my guy. Um, he, he didn't play that much, but um, you know, he was very athletic. Um, I think he was at the school for disciplinary reasons, because um, you know Laurenburg was a place that if you if you did if you did some things like the judge would order you to you know go there and finish up. So Joe um, was there with us. Um, Clink, like we we clicked up right away. You know he from Jersey, so the New York guys we stuck together. So um, look at Joe was really athletic. Like um, here like we go. His skill level wasn't on where we was at, but. He was good enough to make the 10 for 11 10 spot. And okay. um, he had up. one of the best games of his life against Oak Hill Academy, a triple double. <laughs> and that game I had 50. <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on. Come on, come on, come on. And, and fucked see, around look, and look, caught a triple look, double. Look, Yo, what Oak look. Hill? What Oak Hill? <laughs> and that's and that worse, see, worse, see, worse. see which one? Wow! <laughs> okay. Wow! Oh man! Hold on, I got you, buddy. I got you. Yo, this guy. I got crazy, you, buddy. Yo. I kind of expected that reaction from you. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> <laughs> yo, Mic check one two oh, one two. Man. Where it go? Oh man! <laughs> this guy. Yo, um, ish. Man. What Oak Hill? Let's not play any games I'm here. I'm asking you what Oak Hill. Oak Hill. You know Oak Hill. I do. If anybody here knows Oak Hill, you know I, Oak Hill. I don't know anything about I Oak know Hill. he Hill. might not know. It's a basketball Corey factor. Corey should know. It's a basketball factor. You know Oak Hill, too? That mellow. Like, yeah. Who's oh, who? Sure. Everybody uh, went to Oak Hill. And went Joe fucked Oak. around and caught a triple-double. I just want to know, was one of them fouls? No. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, do I have anybody who will support <laughs> me when something good <laughs> has happened? They let, they, they let me get 10 fouls. We're going to leave them in the game, man. Let them get 10 fouls. Man. Damn, you about Melo's yeah. age, too. That might have been against Melo. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Yo, dogs. This is what y'all say. That when I say, tell y'all I got a triple double against man. Oak Hill. Yeah. Joe, you are 5'9. <laughs> I'm not 5'9. <laughs> I think I'm going to stop bringing good news to y'all. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. We got to find the box score, man. Yeah. I want to see the box score. Got, yeah, yeah. I need I'm to about, see that. What year was that? I'm, about, I'm going to find it. I can't. Just like Wilt game, right? And my man said he had 50. <laughs> he, my man said he had 50. No, that's why I had the triple double. All of If we're being yeah, honest. Yeah, he's feeding him. Pause. Because I'm going to always get rebounds and I'm going to score a couple layups. But when I tell you that this man killed Oak Hill, I'm talking about from anywhere. This is before Steph, we saw Steph Curry. So this was unbelievable to see. He didn't play. I used to just try to play him one-on-one in the gym. 11-1, 12-1. Get off me, get, Joe. Like, getting better, though. He was, he was NBA you get college. Better. He was college ready. What's uh, his name? Kurt Smalls. All right. No, he's, he, was, I'm a, he I'm, was him. All right. But that's the I would never get a triple double if somebody is not scoring like that. <laughs> Just anybody you pass it to. But listen, Parks and Ice probably can't get it. They ain't make their high school basketball team. You know what I mean? I skipped them trials. I went to one I day. made the team when the to. athletes was there. I wasn't even here for that. I went to one I wasn't tryout. even here for that. I'm here for duffing niggas out of some shit. <laughs> like, I'm not, I wasn't here for that. I'm here because I was a menace. You were the enforcer? No. <laughs> no, not at all. Was, these was people that nah, that, that, makes, that school was nah, prep schools be nice. They be nice, nice. Gil Reynolds, Bernard King went there. Like they oh, sending people to to it's scholarship oh, okay. time. These people yeah. take this for real. Mm. I ain't got time for my little bullshit. I tried to foul a couple of them big six eleven niggas. <laughs> then then, then I had beef with one of them. He was like, "Oh my god, why am I on this team?" It was a five nine Oakley, yo. I'm ish. I'm not five nine, <laughs> and me and you can fight. <laughs> well, I know why you keep calling me five nine. <laughs> You good? <laughs> yeah. You all right? Oh, I'm good, fam. Anyway, oh, now, now we're moving man. on. So that's all y'all have to say about my triple double on Oak Hill. <laughs> Holy shit! I just want to see the. Yo, I just want to see the. What do I have like to do? Yo, what yo? do I have to do? This could be like the Wilt game. What man? do I have to bring bring I mean, to the table? I mean, we heard it happen. A box score. Did it really <laughs> happen? A box score. Oh man, yeah, that's man. hilarious. All right, last Somebody got last, my last question score. for y'all: Is that hate? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's hate. Yeah. Ish, is, I mean, it, Ice, is this hate from Ish? Tucker? It's curiosity. It's hate. It's hate from me for sure. Okay, I'm hate. A, is this hate? That's hate. Okay, okay. that's okay. it. All right, bro. He had a basketball legend bigging up his his. Uh, Tenth man. man, I forgot uh, all about that. Man's I forgot you know how about you gotta that. look out for your man's. Like, uh, put, how much stock I put on that? That's hate. That's, 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 that's hate. Yeah. <laughs> wow. The, the hate is, the hate is real. You get to clean that couch. This shit is dripping with hate right now. <laughs> All right. So come on. Let's come on. Let's let's get in the pod. That is hilarious. Let, oh, let's get in the pod. Who's who's leading? Who's leading the break? Somebody lead the break. I grabbed the board. Outlet pass immediately. I'm not trying to bring the ball up. Outlet pass. I said outlet. <laughs> the goal is to score you here. Can't get fifty. Is anybody running toward? The, <laughs> is anybody running toward the other hoop? What's my man name? It's hard to get it. I can never get a triple double with y'all. <laughs> Kirk, Kirk, Kirk Shirt. Kirk, Kirk Smalls. Yo. Yo, yo, watch your mouth. I wasn't disrespecting right. Kirk Flirt. It's cool. Yo, yo, you can't do that. You can't just make up names for people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, outlet pass. All right, we we gonna start with the heavy news. We'll of start. course. Yeah. yeah. Of course. So um we lost a a, a friend. Um Sometimes bad news comes too close to your door. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It comes too close to your doorstep. This shit happens every single day, but sometimes the mail is addressed to your circle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Matt, see, let's, I'm sorry, Ice, because you was talking. No, 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 it's bad. cool. It's cool. But when we went, Ice called me, what was that, Saturday morning? Early Saturday morning. The pod had just dropped, right? Mm-hmm. I don't talk to Ice at that time. That's my point. <laughs> mm-hmm. So that already looked funny on the phone. So you pick up, now ice, sounding un-ice like. And he gave me the horrible news that Hovain has passed. Rest in peace to Hovain. Ho, we love you. Or you know it. Uh, this is Friday morning. I'm not reading anything, but I think they said somewhere around 2 a.m. It don't matter. He had a heart attack. And we lost somebody extremely close to each of us. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. 
Um, did they put down? Did they put the cause out? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just want to make sure mm -hmm. he wasn't. Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, but I mean, toxicology is not bad. But they said he had a heart attack. Okay. So he had a heart attack. And that was the weekend for me. Yeah, my Saturday yeah, it was, was fucked. Okay. It was rough. Like I, I got the call. Actually, I got it Friday, but I, I just sat there. Like I'm, I still haven't. Processed Yeah I still haven't fully processed Like I keep looking at the phone Expecting bro to hit me Like We speak every You know We had professional business But this is a friend of mine For over 15 years Um, it, I, Important to so many Up and coming artists Established artists Established, established artists. artists But the fun part of that Was we got to watch him In real time Work his way up To where he was Yes Mm-hmm. So you start with Troy Ave, you end with Lloyd Banks. Styles P. Styles. He worked cams last year. Um, he was active. Extremely. He, he was extremely active. Uh, extremely supportive, too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Like, mad supportive. Above, above and beyond. Like, supportive isn't even a good enough word. Not, yeah, that's true. Everything that I ever did, he was always right there supporting me, rooting me on, and we did not have a professional relationship. Yeah. That's who he was, and though, that like, was you know the and that's the story of Hovain. Yeah, yeah. You, you didn't have to be make it, like in business with him. You could just hit him with some with a question, or was, oh, yeah, he, yeah, he's right there. Him, he's right there. He would he's hit you before him. you had the question. That's true. Yeah. Like yeah. you didn't even have to be like, "Yo, Hov, I need your help with this." Da da da. He would just see, I see what you're doing. Da da da. He, you know what I mean? You know, like every Patreon nigga hit my phone. Yo, you smoked it. Yo, you did this or you did that. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, just support on a different level. It was just a different level, and, and um, sending me bottles of champagne every time I dropped a project, like. And he was a person that, a lot of time people be afraid to like introduce you to like or to plug you with their people. Facts. Definitely. They'll 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 keep that. Definitely. Facts. Because they want to make money off of that. Like yeah, I'll I'll middleman it, but I need yeah. A, a, yeah. Jovain was never like that. Never. If he's if you needed something and he knew somebody that could get it done. Mm -hmm. Yo, let me put you on the line with this person Absolutely. right here. Absolutely. Well, he'll just he'll just text message you with everybody, all the parties involved. When I got married last year, we needed hair and makeup. And he plugged us with his wife. It didn't end up working out. Shout out to Kim. We love you. It's just little shit like yeah, that. Like small, that has nothing to do thing, with right? nothing. nothing. You know what I'm saying? True. Like That's true. Like it's not, it's so many people and, and, that's and, not like that today. In this, in this, business, in this industry, shit. You don't find many just genuinely good people. Like one, I spent all Saturday just talking to different people. We was just having like our whole vein stories. No, no, we've been on the phone. Yo, remember this, this, this? Just I, I bugging out. I remember he had me in Brownsville, Brooklyn, at three thirty in the morning. Feeling so, feeling safe, us. Safe as shit. <laughs> like outside, we was just chilling. Yeah. The chains was out. Or he was tough. Yeah, no, no, chains out. All right, I gotta ask. <laughs> but um, you just don't get. Like, like there's no smut on his name. Zero. That's rare. Just Extremely. a good dude, man. It's just a good dude. And the, and the sad part is how young he was. Like I thought he was our age. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He's 34 years old, dog. Oh wow! I didn't know he was that young either. I didn't know he was that young. I thought he was my age. Like that. I didn't know he was that young yeah. until the news broke. That's crazy, dog. And so what, even when I was talking to Corey, like the thing. When you you when you lose these young great people, mm -hmm. like Covain could have been Lucian, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like he could have been on a big Craig or Julie it, that level in, he this, was on his way. in this business. Yeah. Yeah, he no could have been. No, I'm just saying at would've 34, been. dog. Imagine where he was at 55. Imagine where he would have been at 50. At 40, That's, I say that shit. about all our young, young people. And that I we say it all the time, but yeah, like dog, in, in this shit is different. Crazy. We were watching, like we saw it. It was crazy, was, bro. Like his relationship equity that he had, mm -hmm. and, and just the knowledge of this particular business that mm -hmm. is so hard to learn and grasp. Yeah, he was on his way, and that's what you know what I'm saying. Like, and willing to share it. That too. He's teaching courses. He's he's mm -hmm. doing a million. He's active online. You know. He just got um. He just won an award two weeks ago, a week or two ago, mm -hmm. for something like it. Just was crazy, yo. Like just so, featured in Billboard as yeah, an up and comer or something like that. Uh, power, power, Force, players, power, all yeah. that shit. Yeah. So. Shout to his wife. Shout to his Here, children. Shout to Kim. Word. His family, the people that he worked with, his loved ones, their loved ones. That was just and and his fans, the people that were just a fan of who he was. Mm -hmm. uh, 
couldn't have happened to a better person. And that's what stops some of my crying. I, 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 I caught myself, I was crying because it just comes out of you. And then I'm going down memory lane in my whole vein mental Rolodex. And I just started laughing and wiping the tears because it's like all I remember is like great stories of whole vein for me. Or, Even when I tried to get it spicy, like, damn, oh, you down, you, you down with them niggas, you cool with them niggas, I ain't cool with over there. <laughs> but then you gotta process it and be like, well, everybody's cool with Hovain. <laughs> you can't be mad at somebody that knows how to play neutral, be cool with you, be cool over here. Hovain would pop up just in the places you'd least expect to see Hovain because mm-hmm. he was there in support of always. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm here supporting Wale. I'm here supporting. Like, God damn, when do you rest? So when I learned he was even uh, married, I was like, God damn, you move around. Mm-hmm. Like so many, rare that you find people that are passionate about managing others. Word. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Usually they're trying to use that as a springboard in a weird, sneaky kind of way. or It's try, always try, something try, funny. And trying to get just shine getting that themselves. middle man money. That middle yeah, man middle money. money. Yeah. But a lot, of, a lot of managers want to be stars themselves. True. And he was That's a star true. by himself without trying without to be managing. a star. Yeah. Like, or if you're a star manager, you've just got this roster of clients that this is just what you do. You're making a lot of money mm-hmm. in. And you don't pay attention to a lot yeah. of them, too. Like, there's that part. Hovain like, was hands on. passionate and, about managing and helping mm-hmm. and bettering others mm-hmm. it's a skill it's a that's a dying skill set and one that should be appreciated yeah. right but he kicked my ass half the time like yo you yeah, need, like, we need to do this no we doing this now yo this like and i'm looking at it like i know on the list of artists or, or people that he's managing mm-hmm. at the bottom mm-hmm. i'm down here somewhere mm-hmm. right yet every two days Sometimes that yo man yo yo man. yo, yo, yo. You, you ain't, you ain't I looked at this six months. We didn't Ish. do this yo go do that you know yo, you got the, the I got a deal voice. over here for you with this let's go get this like mm-hmm. you ain't post nothing in six months man what, what, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> all right fam I'm, I, I got you yo no it's, it's, that was sad and so. I just spoke to him I went he was at Dizza's he was at Dizza shout to Dizza when I did his pod. Mm. Uh, one of the things that, that gave me comfort was, and this is why I be so adamant about having a trusted circle and, and people that you trust in times where you need additional thinking, right? I always tell a story about uh, when my granddad was dying, going to get the coffin, and I didn't want to go, but my mom said, you should probably go, right? Mm-hmm. Lloyd Banks' release album, release dinner, was another one of those moments for me where I'm not going to go to this. Not because I don't respect Lloyd Banks. That's my man, 100 grand. Mm-hmm. None, but, none but love for him. But this is a private family. He got his kids with him. You know, you want to give people their space. But I went because Hovain said, we want you to come. Mm-hmm. And I just trusted him enough mm-hmm. to say, all right, well, if y'all want me to come, then I'ma come. Elliot was there, and like I said, it was a beautiful, beautiful event. And I was there a little early. So it's me and Hovain at the bar, and of course we just cracking on each other's clothes. You getting money I, I, no. I, 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 <laughs> All of that. Fly, and, fly and and super fly. I ordered super something fly, from the bar, and then he ordered something from the bar, and then we just stood there and we had a toast. Mm. Just to life and our successes and our families mm-hmm. and music. Just for, listen, life expectancy in this business is about a the thing it got down to four months now. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's short. So when you got your brother that you just seen start from the bottom and we're here now, you celebrate that shit. So we had a toast and I stayed for another 30 and got out of there. But boy, was I just appreciative and happy and humbled that we got to have that toast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was important. That was important for me. Yeah, who we are is how we will be remembered. Mm. And Hovain, and not just Hovain, uh, Jazz Fly, like we've lost, we've lost some people that have just been really close to home mm-hmm. over the last few years. And I try to spare the podcast of these things, but there's been plenty of death just circulating between family, friends, some of my 
older buddies, health complications, hospitals. Just it gets real. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's real. It gets real. I mean, I say I say the little tag at the end of the pod, but I very much live by it. Life is a series of moments, and then they pass. You never know when it's your last time seeing somebody. Mm-hmm. That's real. You know, we be, be beefing over stupid shit, dumb shit. Right. We don't really or just not keeping in contact because you yeah. take for granted, mm-hmm. like, yeah. this person's going to be that here problem. tomorrow. Yeah. That's that's what I got. That's what I got for you guys. I I my God is strong. I thought I was coming in here to deliver a difficult message and to have a really tough pod. I even probably saw myself crying through this. Right? But I'm not as sad today as I was over the weekend. Like I'm here to celebrate and give back to someone whose life was spent giving it to us and others. Like, there's not a reason to be sad if every impression left in every footprint traveled is just love, well wishes, positivity, positive impact, teaching, helping, pouring into. I mean, you said that you don't have that energy here, but energy don't die like that. That's true. True. So it's still present. So if you really want to honor somebody, you can learn from them and kind of implement some of that in your lifestyle. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I didn't think I would be doing Hovain any justice to come in here and be sad for y'all. Because personally speaking, I've never seen him sad. That's a good one. That's me. I've never seen it. Always just happy, upbeat with a joke, a smile, a wise crack. Mm-hmm. We lost the real one, yo. That was all I could say Saturday. All I could say was we lost the real one. It was so bad, I was tempted. I almost got like these goofy niggas and posted a tax up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was bad like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had to stop myself. Yeah. I, I, I can relate. Because if you ever gave... if. If there's ever a time to post a text, Hovain and text everybody with some positive shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. now, you done hit me in times where I'm like, get this on it. Nigga, go ahead. I can't even talk to you right now. You're too positive for me. <laughs> Hovain, we love you, yo. Word. Word. Yeah, man. Love you, bro. We love you. Thank you. Gonna miss you. And just wow. And just wow. Kim, if you need anything from us, we're around. The stories say that this happened at around 2.30 and whatever the time was for Friday night, Thanksgiving. I even hated on that a little bit. Like, you so loved that you get to go with love. <laughs> Think about it. I'm a big, I'm a big proponent of that. How you live is how you go. To go in that setting just loved and cared for, that's a fucking gift, man. It's a gift. We love you, Hovain. Oh, I got you. I got you guys. Yeah, you. I got you. I'm a little late with it. I know. I know. I know. Damn, I'm still a little late with it. I'm a little off. Here we go. I'm still messing it up. Jesus. Oh, my (laughs) God. What happened to Verified? Come on, man. You didn't pay the $8. (laughs) (laughs) Here we go. Hovain had open invite here. Sometimes he just popped up. Facts. And even then, man, he always came in and take a picture. And I hate taking pictures. But it's Hov. What are you going to do? But I took it. You take it. Yeah. Glad that we have those pictures. I am. Word. I always go to the kids. I always go to the kids. Mm-hmm. We know how many kids Hovain had? Two. Two. Oh, Lord. Brooke and Claire. Huh? Brooke and Claire. Oh, and it goes without saying, but let me say it. If the family needs anything, somebody hit me. If there's anything that I can do, please do not hesitate to let me know. Also got to say rest in peace to Irene Cara and Don Newkirk, who we also lost. Yes, yes, indeed. Legends. Definitely. I will alert the audience. I will get to the bottom of mine and Ish's relationship at some point. But 
He has spent the next up. hour and change searching <laughs> the records for this myth, <laughs> myth, mythical triple <laughs> double. Yeah. It's, why Yo, are we I like this? Doing why, that. You, why that's do we have this, this brother type of? That's there's something. I, that's not some there. No, not, not even close. He was looking for the box score. You find the no, box score. No, he went to go to. Nah, he was, was confused. Just, I was hey, looking at. I was looking for it. I was looking for the dude because Joe said he was nice. So most New York. Niggas, that's nice. I heard of them. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I've been around basketball a long time, so I never heard of Kurt Small. So mm. I was just going to see if he was super nice, like Joe said. Was okay, he? but come back with your discovery of whatever you found. Come on, give no, me I just, I, and, and I, you know, a lot of the prep schools I was familiar with, too. Mm -hmm. Like, MCI, back in my day, mm -hmm. like, Oak Hill has a long run. But, like, back in my day, it was like MCI, um, Spartanburg in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. They were known for just putting out quality basketball players. Mm -hmm. So Laurenburg was something that I had never heard of, but it seems like they the shit. Mm. Like they have a track record. They're in the tops of sending kids to the high D1 schools that go on to achieve greater things. And so. you're sitting right next to a guy who played in that very team. <laughs> and scored a triple double. And had a triple double against Oak Hill. How many games you played in that season? I ain't play. I ain't get no burn. So that was it? So you averaged a no, triple double then. <laughs> 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 See? See? Yeah, I, mean, I don't think I don't think that's how it works. Yo. So of course, Ish looked to step on my moment. I did not. And he not brings up Gilly now. I I, I just say Gilly. I don't even call Gilly. You almost made me call him. Gilly a smoke your boot show. Gilly in shape. He's in shape. Like he is actively out here in shape. And he's showing off every moment See, he that's gets. the part I gotta get to the bottom of. Gilly, who you don't really have a relationship with, you just come out straight with the big ups. Big ups to Gilly. <laughs> big, I'm not big, up big Gilly. I'm not big. I'm saying big up that to he, Gilly. He hoops. I said I got a triple double and got I see from Gilly. a friend. Nah, I see Gilly out here. You done been to war with me. This Pull guy. it up. Gilly is five foot five and weighs seventy pounds. And here, cook your goose. And I don't know that. What are we talking about? A game of what? Like five on five, full court. I won't be in that game. So. <laughs> I'm not running up and down. Yeah. No. Now, you're talking about a big three style where it's just half court. I don't come from that school. He would be clotheslined on the floor before he cooked my yeah, boots. That's what you'll have to do. You'll have to hack him. But that's what I do. Oh. It's not that. <laughs> but he can shoot, though. It's not that's, what, that's I what I do. It's not that's what I would have to do. That's what, that is what I do. Shoot or shoot. You never really. T all right. It's all right, bro. That, I'm that's not, you to shoot. You're my shit. man. I, I'm not that, even. You know what I'm saying? We. I know most people are used to only seeing a clothesline in the paint. <laughs> you gonna <laughs> clothesline? You gonna hack the nigga? <laughs> you gonna clothesline the nigga? Out you, ain't, you, ain't, you, ain't, you ain't about to get on fire. <laughs> my favorite part of basketball games today is when the whistle blow and niggas try to get that extra shot in and somebody jump. Somebody, somebody get that shit out of here. <laughs> you're not going about to get hot on my watch. Same thing. That's hate. But it's cool. I got it. No, that's smart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, that's we can unpack smart. that. Hey, so is hate smart sometimes? Strategic. Come on, look now. Look, Strategic. Look at Mr. Potter now. Now he don't want to pod. Because <laughs> he don't, don't want to admit to the hate. Your man's hate on me was smart. It worked. That was not smart. Fuck that, that goofy shit. So what? I this? never spoke to her again either. Nigga, fuck that. Fuck her. Yes, you did. That oh, was after your that, yeah. Yeah, but Fuck that. on your own merit. That's corny to me. Everybody don't have merit ish. Everybody don't have and what kind of sweatsuit is wasabi. <laughs> Everybody Prada. don't have wagyu sweatsuits. Wagyu. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody yeah, ain't got the fancy ankle socks like you yo, matching the watch. Off, Stop, bro. yo. That's Everybody cool. can't do that. Everybody can't do it. You do, do, it. Don't look at me. And you know what? Sense. What you know what Gilly didn't do? What? Get have a triple, a triple double, double at Oak Hill. <laughs> hey, they should have never showed me this. Oh, I'm about to be man. like Al Bundy at at yeah, uh, yeah, at yeah. Four, four, four touchdowns. Four to it was it four or five? Five, four, I think. It was five yeah. touchdowns. Yeah, Scored five touchdowns in the game. Uh, I'm gonna get it for you, dog. <laughs> I got you. What's your? Tell me your best game. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, and against who? I'm gonna I'm put it in. The, we giving out. Was it on varsity? Game. You made varsity. I can't even really kick it with Joe, niggas that. I, I was running around. <laughs> nah, pop so you didn't make varsity. I, I oh, so we can't talk. All right, come on, move around. on then. <laughs> then move on. Talk about houses or some shit. Come on, what type of molding you use on when it's stucco? <laughs> like, when, when, come on, when, 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 <laughs> when is stucco appropriate? Give it to me. Take it away. Oh, Fast break. Man, Outlet is stupid, yo. All right, what else we got? What else happened out there? Uh, a bunch of shit. Um, Spotify wraps up. I, I love the wrap ups. 
I love the wrap up uh, theme that they did this year with the festival. The festival lineup that was, that was really dope. That was clever. That was dope. What did they do? So they took you know they give you the list of your favorite artists and mm-hmm. shit. They broke it down in like festival. a festival stage. Oh, that's why everybody headline. was doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the only oh, time I, I was I, on a few of those. I was like, all right, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only time I miss not not streaming because I can't do that shit. I go punch that shit and nothing comes up. Yeah, same. But I don't use Spotify, so. Yeah. But other than that, should be looking a little. Ill. Yeah, that shit's fly. That was very, very, a little very bit. clever on their marketing team yeah. or whatever, whoever came yeah. up with that, that idea. That was dope. That was super fly. That was dope. Oh, also, let me just say right now, throw the leftovers out, man. Come on. Oh, now, I know yeah, some of y'all yeah, need help yeah, with yeah. it. Come on, throw them on out. Yeah, no. Nah, Come time. on, Ish. Tell your girl, throw them casseroles out. Yeah, it's time. <laughs> throw them out. It's no, over. I'm trying to think. <laughs> Get rid of that Casserole. celery cobbler. I was still eating left. <laughs> <laughs> That's that good celery, that kale cobbler. <laughs> I love that kale cobbler though. But yo, throw it out. <laughs> Get rid of that. Celery cob- yo, Snow shut that. Up. Oh man. Today <laughs> throw it out, yo. Yeah, they gotta go. Yeah. Even they, though, should, they actually should be going already. Even though I fought with a few of y'all for y'all's different rules. Some of y'all Saturday was talking about, oh, throw it out. Yeah, yeah, they was bossy. Yeah. You out Boy, your fuck mom. you. Yeah, you out your mom. Yeah, Sunday was my last day. Yeah. Put me right to sleep, and I was like, all right, this has gotta go. Yeah, you niggas a little bullshit. You know what I learned about Thanksgiving too? My body can't even too do bougie? it no more. My body can't even do it no more. Wait, is Ish calling us bougie for something? Yeah, that's why I want to hear this. That's what, a highlight. What are we bougie about? I'm going to stop talking. Yeah, let me hear it. Might give me a turkey sandwich. I don't know what the fuck you niggas Wait, like about. still? <laughs> you still got turkey left? <laughs> you, you eat a turkey? <laughs> I, don't even, been, I don't even do the turkey on there. must have been some plain that's turkey. That's how we know you got a little bit of white in you. <laughs> that's a little bit of white, don't you think? Blacks don't eat turkey? That's all white. Blacks don't that eat turkey? That is all white. Not like that. I, I'm, I'm, with ice, ice. I'm, I'm with him. Ice. I'm with him. Ice. I know, ice. I know you a Newark boy. No, no, no. I just said I'm with you. Finally, oh, I'm be with down you. with me. I don't fuck with the turkey with like that. Synergy. Dog. Let okay. me get an assist from you. I don't you fuck with the turkey, it, fam. All right. And black and, people. And, and if I did we don't fuck really with do, the turkey, I'm definitely not eating it. Like we don't really do the turkey. Days later, we don't really do the turkey, yo. Yeah, we don't really. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm with you that if you did a turkey. That turkey sandwich a few days later, some pepper on that bitch, a little bit of mayo, mm, soft bread. So, super soft bread. Out of here. Dunzo. Out of here. Put a little water on the turkey. Uh-huh. Oh, the turkey dry? Here you go. Want to kill black people. <laughs> or you want to do fry. Why black people got to fry every fry? Y'all, y'all frying shrimp. Yo, do y'all little chef pages on Instagram, y'all frying shit that don't even need to be fried. Uh-huh. Y'all don't, they frying it all. That's because they gave so niggas stupid. air fryers now. The air fryer yeah, is different. I got that's one it. now. I still don't touch that. Oh no, that's what it. the air fryer is that shit. I, I put everything in there for the fryer. leftovers, especially. No, everything, everything though. What's it doing though in there? Cooking. Yeah, it's cooking. You push the button and what, the, what the microwave doing? No, uh, frequency shockwaves. It's the same. Yeah. Is that what uh, the air fryer? No, the air fryer is he, air. He, literally. Corey's air. absolutely right. It's a convection it's oven. Yeah, yeah, it's convection, but all four sides. Oh, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh, I have one of those. Shit's fantastic. Listen, that shit is amazing. That shit's scary. I ain't gonna hold you. It's not oh, so it's like convection the ovens for, for the poor. <laughs> <laughs> but he's not wrong. Is the problem? He's not wrong. <laughs> See why you can't give poor people shit? Oh, I didn't change the name on you bums. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Yo? I'm choking. <laughs> no, he's not. He's the not re- though. He's completely <laughs> accurate. The oh, red, it's a fry. The redditors think I'm serious. That's why they hate me. I just think you're serious. I'm not serious. But, yo, yo. This guy's stupid, yo. <laughs> nah, but them shits get busy. Do it. It's Why a little be? scary though. Why? But make it it's fast. less scary shit than a microwave. That you Word. It, it is definitely less scary than a microwave. But By shit far. that you could cook in 30 minutes, that shit cooks in seven minutes, is a little scary. Hey man. Eight minutes is 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 usually the goal. I, whatever I put in there, I'm putting on eight minutes. Yeah, you me go. too. Me too. I don't care. <laughs> I might spray it with a little bit of Pam. Sure. It's sc- it's scary, well, my nigga. I'd use a little olive oil. I, the olive oil, Pam. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can't can't put it in there for too long. No, no, no. Who's tougher to hang up on, your girl or your mom? Your mother. Yeah, moms. My mom don't like talking on the phone, so I'm going to go with my girl. Oh, by man. far. Lucky. It's by far, too. I can hang up with my girl easy. Yeah. What? Well, <laughs> click up. <on. laughs> no brainer, nigga. Look, that's a no brainer. <laughs> Oh, that's only, that's only my girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a running joke now in the relationship. That what? That you can't hang up? That you don't know. How to sing. I, I'm gonna get in trouble with you saying this shit. That <laughs> <laughs> she don't know how to hang up. You see, that's my mom. Yeah. That's my mother. Yeah, my mother do not we know get how to hang right up. to the hang up part. All right, babe. Love you, kissy face, yeah. ice thing, blah, blah blah blah. And right before somebody hang up, here she go. 
But real quick, let me tell you. Do you know my best friend is trying to buy this house up the street? And Candy came and <laughs> wait, wait, we were so close. That's my mother. That's my mom. We were so mother. close. That, that is Did my mother. Did you just miss our whole hang up segue? That's my mother. My, my mom. mom. I, I've been multiple times on the phone. All right, mom. All right, I'm gonna talk to you later. <laughs> okay. In the shower. Da, 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 da. I'm like, damn. Well, moms don't sick. care. There no, was a Geico okay. commercial about that. That was funny. The commercial where the person was fighting everything in the world, juggling everything, and yes. his mom called. No, no, he was doing a Neo. He had to do yeah. his chasing him. He was shooting. <laughs> he was and mad his busy. mother called. Yeah, he was his doing His mom's that. call. <laughs> yeah. And he couldn't hang up uh, on That's mom. funny. Yeah. That is hilarious. But um, your mother. Mom, mom, because moms don't care what you, like you said, moms don't care what you're doing. Like, my mom, I answer the phone, hey, what's up? And she just go. Oh, that's another good question. How old was y'all when you started to shed some of that? That's, those are my parents' shit. Started to come into your own a little bit. What you mean? Yeah, what you mean? Beliefs? I'm asking. When, when you gave your parents just a little bit of pushback about something that you wouldn't have normally gave a little pushback on. I was young. Oh, yeah, I was young. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was like 20, 21, thinking I was oh, no, I was all young, knowledgeable. Man. I was young. Man. No, I don't mean the rebellious kind. Uh, I was 20. young, young. I mean, like, when you an adult, not when you a kid, just saying, fuck my parents. No, my when mother. you an adult and you like. Church. My mother religious, bro. My mother's the other oh, kind of religious. Church is the normal, yeah. Yeah, so. Young, I was already inquisitive, 14, 15. And I'm like, yo, but if your mom is if like, if it that, was only Adam and Eve, how you stray so far from the Lord's light? <laughs> <laughs> Environment, <laughs> <laughs> yo, but now you're like, yo, if it was Adam and Eve, they had two sons. So, what that mean, Eve pop one of the sons? No, I, I started asking questions it. early, fam. Yeah, yeah, that's a valid question, though. <laughs> I, I, you know I did ask some questions early too yeah. about church. Like, yo, what's up with this cross? <sighs> <laughs> I did have some questions. <laughs> Stupid, yo. What's wrong with you, yo? And I never really liked the answers I got back. Yeah. Mm, at all. Yeah. Not yeah. enough to continue to just, go on Sunday morning. Just believe. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's what nah, happened. just believe. Nah, for real. I oh, can wait, see so how wait. that worked in the 50s and so shit. So wait, she told him she <laughs> was a virgin. <laughs> Y'all ain't have Instagram. Sometimes that algorithm get what? the algorithm what? in. That was the, Sometimes that the was devil. The 50s? Huh? That was the 50s? 60, whatever that was, they was getting them. I thought it was 21. 2021? Take, take, take the shot, right? <laughs> you good, fam. It's cool. You don't make that the same as the, the religion should, do you? I rec no no no. But before let me stop you. Here. I recognize the scam, but related for me. <clears throat> religion mm -hmm. is really based on faith. Mm -hmm. Most religions, because a lot of the stuff you can't physically see is not tangible. Mm -hmm. you, we really don't know what the outcomes are gonna be. They say if you live this certain way. Then this should be your outcome. Yeah, the shot wasn't based on faith. They forced, they forced us over there. This shit based on fear. That's all. Say, that's religion all too. is also everything is based on fear. That's religion, what you just religion, saying. Yeah. How you control people? Religion scams. too. I'm saying fear. fear Yo, if you don't live religion, this certain way, you're gonna go to hell. That's the that's the control part. God right gonna there. get you. That's it. Sky Daddy gonna get you. Sky Daddy. <laughs> Yo, what did you just say, Corey? Yo, what see, did you see just how say? Hanging around Corey no, what too did long? he just say? Sky Daddy gonna get you if you don't do this. That I almost called this dude his real name. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just call God Sky Daddy? Condescendingly, I might add. No, that's just what it is. If you don't see do niggas that had their dad learned. play different. <laughs> 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 niggas that had a dad, y'all oh, jokes be different. Man, this stupid. <laughs> Sky man. Daddy. Mm -hmm. Condescendingly, too. I can get real technical because who said that's the sky? I told y'all it was the other one. All right, way. we at it. Come on. I Come told on, what else? It was the other what else we got? What <laughs> Meg the Stallion you. just hit Forbes <laughs> yeah. 30 under yeah. 30. Stupid, yo. Round of applause. Oh, okay. Let's just go. Nah, that's good news. Yeah, yeah, that really that's good news. Yeah, yeah that really happened. The cover, that's too. Right? That's good news. She, that's got, she got the cover. Of, yeah. Um, yeah, I only laugh, and they're going to say I'm hating. I'm not hating. That's great. I only laugh because that was announced the day that they were picking the jury, the jury for the trial. Of course. Mm. So I was like, <laughs> so if that was Monday that they was picking the jury and the GQ shit came out, I mean, the Forbes shit came out Monday, I'm laughing in my head saying, all right, so she wasn't 30 under 30 <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Wait, just yesterday, this wasn't true? Is this breaking news or is this a coincidence? <laughs> Her team is excellent. You Amazing. Know? Excellent. Amazing. <laughs> Yo, this game is ran by the lawyers and the publicists. Amazing. I'm not talking about Meg no more. Don't think I'm sending shots. I'm not. I'm not talking about Meg no more. In general. I'm talking about period. Yeah. The lawyers and the publicists, yo. 
Well, you just saw uh, Vlad blame the pub publicist for the sweetie not showing up. Sweetie called me Joe Leisha and gave Vlad the most beautiful apology in the world. I hate it here. I hate hip hop. <laughs> I hate hip hop. <laughs> what? Nothing. You hate it too. I do. Yeah, I don't like this shit. Yeah, it's, it's, a bunch, it's a bunch of bullshit. I'm over it. Yeah, you can't steal nobody. I know we're not supposed to say that. <laughs> can't steal you nobody. Could, you you, you can probably can. still steal somebody. No, no, he can't. Yeah, because I'm going to get sued. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. Rikos is crowded. That's bro. messed up that I'm gonna get sued <laughs> if you Rikos sue somebody. Rikos is crowded. That's what I'm talking. I know about. that because one of my good friend, my good Spade buddies, we had Spade game the other day, mm. right? Just playing some cards. The gambling aspect is different now, but why you say that? Cash app. Uh, you won't trick me. Oh, okay. Don't trick me into doing it. <laughs> that guy's good. Well, how, that how, guy, how much I was? He's too for? rich. Shorts. Shorts. <laughs> Like, your, your shorts. <laughs> your, I'm about to say, yeah, shorts. No, it was shorts. It was 25 a man. Oh, okay. 25 a man. But you I used think to play for the most. No. No? No, that was an argument for me back in the day. Okay. I didn't want to sit there and play. We lock in. We do 10 yeah, hours. Yeah, 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 10, 12 yeah, hours. Y'all get game. busy. Y'all get busy. So come on, put some meat in the game. Like, let's make all the games matter. So 25, no. 100 a man, that was, let's do it. And then whoever's down at the end, you let them get their bet back. So we were doing $25, $50 a game. Cool. But just the feel of it, the, the, the jokes and the laughs. Well, you know how we talk about places that men can talk and feel safe <laughs> at the barbershop? Safe the spades yeah. table yeah. is in that. I get yeah. to hear bum-ass Keith tell me about the Jets and Mike White. He, got a, <laughs> he Mike White in me for me. Oh, I bet he did. Oh, my, these Jet fans. They hype about that he Mike, Mike White. White. But, but Mike White. He balled out. He went crazy. He balled, he balled out, out last year against the Bengals. Yeah. 400 yards. Yeah. Like, Mike White can play. Until, they got a problem until, on their hands now. Until the next week. That's the only thing that happened with Mike White last year. Well, they're going to give homeboy a job. Man. But anyway, they, they so at the Spade that. game, we lost one of our vital members, Justin. Justin was a, a CEO at Rikers, and he moved to Vegas. And I caught myself. I said, "What, well, Dad? Why did he?" <laughs> I said, "Oh well, <laughs> who the fuck want to keep going to Rikers Fact if I word. could go to Vegas and be a sheriff?" Mm -hmm. Rikers is bad. Yeah, yeah. you were. Rikers is bad. <laughs> you don't say Rikers is shit, bad. Boy. You welcome for that podcast privilege you had in there. What podcast? Yeah, I mean, I made the call. <laughs> I made, I made the call. Come on, man. <laughs> Uh, triple double That's G. That's what you did. Triple double yeah. G. Look, now I'm just making shit up now. <laughs> you had the old kill head coach. Call. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. put that. Yo, bro. keep them safe. Yo, this guy. Keep them safe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't let that happen. To Whatever my guy, you do, man. make sure they don't ask him who he with, because he might not know how to respond. Then 40, 40 of them jump on him. Now you got one pretty green eye. <laughs> now you Eric Sermon. <laughs> 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 What's wrong with your man, yo? What's wrong with your man, yo? This guy's a fool. Man, that wasn't even a good example. <laughs> it, it Eric Berman got two good eyes. Nah, but never mind. I thought about something else. Yeah. yeah you know why hip hop is phony? Y'all made Houston fucking slash his eye out. Nobody ever said nothing else about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. I like it was that. I, like that. Houston? I, always I like that. Work that. Well, you know, Houston is Houston. That I know. That. Houston. Uh, I think Houston Houston's name was Houston. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that. I think so. And I only know that because that shit was shooting up the charts when I was trying to get a record out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, Uncle yeah, Sam is one of my favorite one hit wonders, too. Anyway. I don't, I don't ever want to see you again. You know oh, the song. Oh, wow. Early one morning while you were asleep. You know the song. That nigga always try to show off his singing ability, yo. <laughs> you nice I'm with it. Get, you I'm nice with it. I'm going to get to the bottom of it, yo. I can't sing, it, sing at all. That nigga sing, I'm going to call no, my that mom on this sing. guy, yo. No, he can sing. But you can sing, too. I can't sing worth a fuck. That nigga can sing. I can sing and get a triple double. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't here with the riff. Now he get busy. Yeah, he get busy. I hope. Uh, come on, what else is important? Uh, Balenciaga is suing the production company <laughs> that they hired to do the ad for twenty five million dollars. 
and put out some <laughs> statements saying they're very sorry and how could something like this happen and people need to do better, including and it, us. Yeah, and it won't happen again. Somebody and it won't happen yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm gonna get y'all. I'm gonna give you 25. Just give it now. Back. But contrary to what y'all always come in here and kick, I do think that they will feel the effect of that. I think so as well. I think so oh, too. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. I definitely think so. Okay. Yeah. Like them shit ain't cost. Sometimes so much. y'all go too far I, over no, no, the no. line. I've, I, yeah, that's true. This country yeah. fuck with dogs and children. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't do that to no kids. Because what type of sick brain are you to put the paperwork underneath there? Yeah, that's, the, that's like, the other shit. Come on. Like, All that's that the shit. shit that was inexcusable. Right? Like, somebody's... Balenciaga, somebody, somebody yeah. had to prove it. Yeah. Word. Oh, that went through somebody a bunch of Somebody had to... A bunch, yeah. yeah. A bunch of people yeah, saw that and said, okay, yeah, this is it. I that's you. the only part where I... Saw it I, before I, they even saw it. The idea a bunch of people yeah, had to Yeah, the, the, the little mm -hmm. outline, the mm -hmm. production. True. Yeah. Marco, whatever the shit is. Again, I'm still on the other side where... I just don't think I already saw Kim Kim K jump out, defend him, like defend the Balenciaga. Yeah, they made wow. a mistake. What she said? They made a mistake. I'm pulling her exact words and, up. And while you do that, I'm gonna find another little clippity clip to play up. Would you look at that? There it is, ready, right on the go. Bop bop. Confuse leading blacks with black leaders. <laughs> Let me tell you why you don't do that. One of the reasons you don't confuse them, black leaders are chosen by you. They're chosen by the people. They're going to lead. They're chosen by us. But let me tell you about the leading blacks. The leading blacks are chosen by the media. Leading blacks. Leading blacks are chosen by ABC, all broadcasting Caucasians. Leading blacks are also chosen by NBC. Nothing broadcasting <laughs> but Caucasian. <laughs> and the rest are chosen by CBS, the Caucasian Broadcasting System. <laughs> and when you, allow, when you allow leaders to be chosen by the media that's owned by the corporations, when you get ready to change your lives, carefully watch and see what the leading blacks are doing. Because that's when the leading blacks sneak into the door to the corporations and they will tell the corporations, oh, we know how to go and put them down. Mm -hmm. We know how to get you some real affirmative action Negroes to come in that's and where work. You get, that's where we you get Herschel Walker to come in But at play. the end of the day, Just the leading us. blacks lead the corporations, and the leading blacks have gotten paid while we have gotten played. All right. Bars. Yeah, yeah them bars right Yeah, there. something light. Light work. That's what Kim said. I'm going to give it to us. Leading I, Another leading black. I've been I've been quiet for the past few days. Ice or Kim K? Kim K. It's both, unfortunately. <laughs> not because not because I haven't been disgusted and outraged by the recent Balenciaga campaigns, but because I wanted an opportunity to speak to their team to understand how to understand for myself how this could have happened. As a mother of four, I've been shaken by the disturbing images. The safety of children must be held with the highest regard, and any attempts to normalize child abuse of any kind should have no place in our society. Period. I appreciate Balenciaga's removal of the campaigns and apology. In speaking with them, I believe they understand the seriousness of the issue and will take the necessary measures, measures for this to never happen again. As for my future with Balenciaga, I'm currently reevaluating my, re my relationship with the brand. That word caught him up a little bit. Bas Shut up, John. <laughs> Basing it off of their willingness. That, 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 those Vs. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. No, I'm alone. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm currently re-evaluating my relationship with the brand, basing it off of their willingness to accept accountability for something that should have never happened to begin with, and the actions I'm expecting to see them take to protect children. Yeah. Oh, okay. she ain't rock with them. She, based on them accepting uh, accountability. It's tell the truth about the, what he just read, man. Come on. What you mean? What? I don't think she rock with them. Okay. I'm not. What do you think? You agree? Wish? No, he's saying that she she I'm kind of rock with him. I, she, I don't she, think that. I accept the apology. Like that sounds. She shot like a little bit based of on she what shot she shot them based bell, on bro. what they. I think she's saying, "Yo, based on how y'all move in the future, I might consider still apologizing." She's setting y herself yeah. up. She's setting herself up to come back and say, "Yo, y'all, I vetted it out and it's good. I apologize, yeah, apologize mm -hmm. and I'm gonna continue my business with them." Yeah, mm -hmm. possible. And she threw in all of that publicist jargon, mother of four, to hate children mm -hmm. deeply rooted. We got you, dog. Yeah, I get it. We got you. If you're not going to come back and tell us what you about to do differently, then save all of this. Like, I know what this is. 
Could be. I don't think she. That's about, what I looked at. I don't it think as. she about to dead her whatever no, business. I don't think so. I don't think so either. With them, I don't. But I, I don't think how she worded it. Like I'm shooting y'all. No. She, shot, I mean? she definitely shot. Bring back the women that supported their husband in some views. <laughs> Quiet up now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why I can't just say something and my wife just support that for a little bit? Why you got why you got way too some other shit going on? Speak out against some shit, huh? huh? Nigga. Husband in the fight for his life. <laughs> Nigga fighting for He woke up and I'm not gonna say Yeah, 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 yeah. Joe. Yeah. He didn't even wake up. You he can't, can't, even, you can't it, remotely it, compare it, the two. If it don't apply, let it fly. Yeah, like if uh, it don't apply, let it fly. Yeah, same yeah. husband. Same husband new shit. grabbed me and my family through the media for months. No, I'm not saying she should have done that oh. with hers. Oh, oh, I'm just saying okay. bring back the women that will. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying her. That's yeah, why I'm like, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, get away from that nigga. Yeah. That nigga driving you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I support that. Well, word. Even though it was a little fake article. I don't know if it was fake, but it was a little article that you gentlemen chose to ignore that said Tom Brady's wife bought a house across the street. Oh, I didn't see that. I saw it. I didn't see that one. That's dope. Dope, huh? It's cool when they do it. <laughs> it's cool when they do it. <laughs> we came in here and had, had 90 think pieces when Kanye bought a house across the street. <laughs> we did. We did. Come on, Ace. You, you, know you was there. I was right there. Yeah, and we we think, crack. think piecing. Yeah, it's a little different. Why? Because this nigga's been the stalking same and reason. harassing. Yo, you just said she's get a- stalking him. That's no, why he losing no, to the Panthers. Not. No, she's not. No, <laughs> she, she ain't. She don't, don't got her new nigga in Then why you grocery street for me? For, for, the for our children. Oh, yo, Only y'all one of them. Oh, yo. Y'all Only one of them. Oh, oh, y'all one of them. Y'all one of them. The well, I know Isis, the, 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 the original dad. Yo, you can't remotely. <laughs> He's ground daddy. <laughs> I know Isis. I know Isis. Yo, you can't remotely compare the two things. And you think Kanye wasn't for the kids? Yes, it was for the kids, but what? it was also for her. Now, stay there. You, you nasty I would, I would love to speak. No. Fam. <laughs> Kanye for months was ragging on her man, ragging on her, ragging on her family. You ain't heard Giselle say a peep about Tom Brady. Except Not I you want- defending uh, her and Jerry Jones again. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look at the narratives he tried Not to you defending Kim and Jerry Jones again, <laughs> but was vicious when it came to ours. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, they was on us. See? They was on us this week, boy. Uh-huh. Me. Even threw me in a little bit of that, Yo. and then and then I got to be solid. I'm so solid, and the internet never say it. I ain't say nah, that was my man. I just stood there and got shot at. Well, I always take the shots with my dude. Uh, I ain't gonna you lie. You didn't defend Jerry though. No, but it don't matter. Uh, my man defended him, so uh, I, I I'm, even really I'm, I'm down. Him. I ain't defend him. Just shot him bail. Well, I, that, yeah. That's the. I hey, guess. Hey, whether you pay the bill or it's a bail bondsman, the nigga got out of jail. <laughs> That's a good Hey, one. whatever you did, <laughs> he was free. <laughs> Yo, that, and it, the internet would have really tore you up, but then Stephen A got out there. And... <sighs> Actually, that's a great question. What do you guys think about what Stephen A had to say about the matter? <laughs> I ain't hear it. It's a setup. I heard it. It's a setup. No. It. Yeah, yeah. It's a setup, yo. Nope. I'm setting you up. <laughs> Come nope. on. I've been sparring with Grace. Get out of that one. Get out of there. I ain't gonna say that. Yeah, you. Because they tore his I saw that. They ate his fuck. Woo! <laughs> Let me ask you. Oh, never mind. Never mind. That's your man. What? Do you think that is my man? Nah, I know. You think it was warranted? Do he want to keep making twelve million dollars a year? <laughs> <laughs> well, you got no, if- you got to answer tough questions. Uh, we got to answer tough questions. <laughs> you do. <know? laughs> That's the part the internet always leaves. Why didn't you go to work and take a stand and really stick up that and really drive a fork and, and drive the matter home and go in his office and <laughs> nigga? I want to go, I twelve want million to dollars a year. No, why, why you don't well, do that at your job? Let me no, tell why you. Why you don't do that at your job? Let me tell you how Disney operates <laughs> and how much I'm making a year <laughs> and how many people depend on. That's his man, that. though, too, right? Huh? Ain't that his man? Who? Like he, Jerry and Steven. They, they, yeah. they yeah, rock. Yeah, yeah. together. They like each other. Yeah, they like each other. Yeah. Like wait, him. wait, and oh, wait, the internet is good. Wait, and they got Charles Barkley ass too. Tore his ass up. Wait, what Charles put, did. Oh, wait, I meant what Charles did. Charles, yeah. Charles, Charles had, no, Charles had a whole bunch of Sports Illustrated covers and shit like that. No, but they got him because he said some wild shit about uh, uh, you know, all his Kyrie, all mm-hmm. just all of that. Mm-hmm. 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 But they kept a foul. They, oh, keep, they kept a foul. Nigga, they had the Sports Illustrated cover with ninety two, ninety four, Kunta. 
With the shackles, chains, shackles on, chains around breaking the free from the chains and the shackles and the and him the, and Shaq dressed up with dresses on. Yeah, you gonna do that? To, to, we talking about Charles Barkley? Parvin, Parvin. <laughs> we are talking about Charles yeah, Barkley. Yeah, don't big, do that to yeah, Shaq. Big jersey. Big jersey. Yeah, thank you. Big, big, thank big you. Jersey. Thank you. Wednesday, nothing about your nephew when he had a hard game. Don't do that to Shaq. <laughs> we did, we did, so <laughs> <laughs> he, he publicly get up here and say no bullshit, but it's cool. It's all right, man. I don't want no sauce, but it's cool. But anyway, yeah, that, they, that's what they, they did. They go back. Oh yeah, go back in the files. Yeah. yeah, the internet love giving you a this you moment. Yeah, oh, have a blast. Well, I just signed this two hundred million dollar ten year contract. Yeah, that's, that's me, and this is me too. It gets tough. It gets tough trying to be solid for your people <laughs> <laughs> and not be Uncle Tom. It is tough. It's tough. Why, why can't the two be? Um, <laughs> look, look. Nah, why you can't do both? <laughs> You don't think you can do both? No. no I, think I ain't getting enough no, money no. yet. No, you're raising a good question, but it's still funny. Why can't... <laughs> Let me... Th- I'm, I'm, I'm trying to engage with <laughs> nah, like, real. I'm going to try to engage with yeah, like, I, I'm, I'm serious. You can't do both, you don't think? No. And still be an employee? No. I haven't seen it done successfully, I guess, if I try to think about it. Like, I think of OJ. I think of Tiger. I think of Michael Jordan. I just think of, that's the way to do both. We're shut up, yo! I'm just shut gonna up. stay out of that. You just gotta shut up. Or I think, or y'all gonna kill me for this. I do think that LeBron tries would, to. LeBron do I was just getting ready to say he, he has to hit LeBron. He tries, tries but he tries. even that don't come or he plays come, safe come across as organic safe on certain and shit. authentic. He plays safe on certain, shit. but the public knows it. You can tell it. Yeah, he know he where to. Safe. You know, no, who really be? No, who do it? But he not really so. He self employed. Denzel does it. Denzel don't give a fuck. He'll say whatever he want to say, but he's self-employed, so he not really. You know what I'm saying? Is he self-employed? He's self. Well, I'm sure he's probably a, a no, 1099 really for these companies. But I know what I'm saying in a manner of speaking, mm-hmm. he don't have a boss that he got to report to. You know what I'm saying? But he's still. But he don't looking for gigs. But he don't talk. Like when he give you something, he give you the jewel, and you he, don't hear from him for the next. Yeah, here, he, but until he, he decides to give that you one. don't be on the the popular side of the establishment. Oh come on, let's talk about your man. Who? Your man Will Smith. <laughs> what, what Will did <laughs> everything. Sh- shave room. stepped into the shave room. How so though? I you saw it. Get philosophical. Nah, what I didn't. I mean? didn't really understand it. <laughs> like I didn't really. He's promoting his Emancipation movie, mm-hmm. so he's on a run. He's popping up, just sitting with a bunch of different people. One mm-hmm. of those stops was the shave room. That's where I got my good chuckle from. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> but he did an interview with him. Yeah, I didn't know they, they call did an interview. Stepped into the shade, yeah, shade room. I, I, I love watching people expand. They got shade room investigative series. Yeah, people going crazy out here. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, Will Smith went on there to explain how this ain't really like your normal slave movie. <laughs> I, I would never know. But. And then he went a couple other places and was like, "Yeah, now nah, that slap wasn't my best self." Then he went a couple other places and was like, "I can see if you kind of don't want to watch the movie, but I think you should do it. I don't want to hurt my team with my." Yeah, my actions. My actions to hurt my team. And I ain't gonna hold you. As somebody that constantly is searching for movies and shows, that shit ain't pop up, pop off of the movies part. It didn't jump out. The, the new it, Easy to shit. scroll right past it. It didn't make you want. It's on Apple TV, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it didn't do. It didn't do. And can I just say, right. round of applause to Apple TV. I personally think that y'all are going absolutely crazy with the shows. They are. Mm-hmm. From Surface to C to Severance, which I have yet to finish. That's that shit. I'm not done. Shit, the morning I'm show not was done. great. I hear a lot of great, great things about the morning uh, show. Ted Lasso was great. I heard it was good. Ted Lasso was great. Ted Lasso was a good show. They keep shoving that in my face like it's great. It's, whole, it it's, it's wholesome, but it's yeah. good. Yeah? It's good, yeah. Yeah. I like Ted Apple, Apple Plus. They don't play. So they have a show called Echo 3. And let me tell you. I'm on the list right now. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you yeah. something, buddy. Ice, yeah, you write it down. What, what For it? those of us that have seen 24, I think this is from the writer of Black Hawk Down and all of them types of uh, those. This is one of those. I'm only mad. This is good and bad news. Oh, it's a thriller. Oh, Y'all should watch it because it's a great show. That's the good news. The bad news is this drops episodically. So it just started. 
They dropped the first two episodes, then another episode, and I'm sitting there thinking I got episode four to get to, and I don't. Friday. Mm. But this show is that. It's action with storyline, with thriller, with suspense, with some good mil- acting. Like, we spent some money. Yes and no. It just involves, yeah, I guess, yeah. No, they're spending money. No, no, no. Look, 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 look at the actors. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, look at it. I'm looking at it. I'm mad. The next one don't drop till Friday. I'm, I'm, this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find another show now to ignore this. I want to ignore this for a couple weeks. A filling. This ain't one of them you could, you could browse your phone and watch. Is a Just tune watch in. it. Is it tune in? Watch it. Yeah, because they do a great job of story and character development. Everybody, people keep popping up, and it's important to recognize who these people are in the story. But they kidnapped some girl they shouldn't have kidnapped for political reasons, and she's a scientist, and her brother is that, that dude in the Navy SEAL, and her husband is also on that same Navy SEAL team, mm. and now we're going to get her because we don't trust that y'all about to go get her. And you, you fuck with the wrong nigga's daughter. Yeah. Gotcha. E- Echo 3. Echo 3. Yeah, I'm checking this out. This is not an ad. They did not pay me. I don't know why they didn't pay me. Maybe they're <laughs> looking at me like Elon or something. <laughs> if they pull ad money from Elon, I can imagine they're not... You know what, know what else you'll like on Apple Plus? Tell um, me. Tehran. I heard it's amazing. Tehran? Yes. I heard it's amazing. Tell me more about Tehran. Um, Tehran. Uh, I said it wrong? It's Tehran, right? Tehran. It's, okay. It's, it's overseas. If yeah. we evaluate yeah. fucked you up, then <laughs> this one. It, yo, they said that shit is crazy. I heard it's. I what, heard is it, it's what is it about? It's about like um, the Middle East. I, I never watched it, but everybody keeps telling me to watch it. It's something about the Middle East and the political shit. Yeah. The, I, it's in Iran, but it's about the political shit and overthrowing. Oh, yeah. Some, yeah, those have this to be. I'll be on. Those fire. have to be done really good for this, me to enjoy. I heard this it's one's amazing. done good. This one's done great. I heard it's amazing. Both, yeah. It's another show relating to that too. I heard it was real good. I forgot the name of it, but they said that that shit is crazy. That was one of my best movie moments in my career. Is throwing on Slumdog Millionaire just as something just to cause. do. Not that really. shit was fire. And that <laughs> that yeah. movie that on some fire. humbug shit. Like, oh my god, y'all bugging. Um, she fire. She's in my tops for a while. Who, what's her name? Her <laughs> from us. Uh, yeah. People used to say that, and that. I needed to go see. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> you saw I, I, I caught a couple more. Of your, uh, what you mean? Nothing. <laughs> 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 nothing at all, my couple, couple more TV shows? Yeah. 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 Something okay. to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Something yeah. to look at. Yeah. Something yeah. to watch, all right. Something yeah. to watch. Something, something to binge. Yeah. yeah, there you go. <laughs> binge watch. Something to add to that up next. <laughs> <laughs> something to add to that up next. Yeah, we get the notification. Hit, hit that little plus one. sign. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those guys are cool, cool, yo. Come on, we was off mic talking about Ja Morant. Mm-hmm. Every Grizzlies game, somebody out there hit me. Yo, Joe, you was right about Ja and that superstar whistle. But the thing yeah, is, yeah, I bet I am right. I'm, I'm always right when he playing your team. I, <laughs> I be right when he playing your team, I, don't I? We was agreeing with you. Yeah, he earned he's getting it, the whistle. No, no, no. We fought about us saying, "Is it earned?" That's where we just because yeah, they saying, saying they Y'all saying Joe. Yes. They, they're saying oh, we agree. Gets the right. whistle. Yeah, he do get the whistle. Nobody is, but he shouldn't. That's what they're saying. That's what we just They're saying that whistle is, that whistle that he get. I love it. He He played the Knicks the other day, then going to tag up Garden Boy on a jersey that he gave to his dad. Mm. Stop playing with niggas, yo. Well, well, beat him. Stop him. Yeah. Trade Andre (laughs) Barrett. Not you. Not you, nigga. I got a few niggas. I'm going to trade off the Knicks. ASAP. I got a few niggas. Yo. They pay Mitchell Robinson all that money and won't stop showing me Hardenstein. Mm-hmm. Hardenstein out there just getting out rebounded, dunked on, fucking niggas putting their balls in his face. <laughs> he out there shooting threes. All right, Nook Lopez. <laughs> nobody was paying. Nook, yeah, Nook, Nook, Nook Lopez. Lopez. <laughs> Wasn't nobody paying for Nook Lopez. All right, Nook, yo, this guy's a fool. Nah, man. Anyway, on to some other news that I was right about. That's my favorite part of the show. That's probably the only reason I have a show. <laughs> tell, to tell people how just right to come you are. here and tell people how I was right. Here let we go. It. This one is for Ice. All right, let me hear. It. MCU Direct, whoever that is. I don't know if it's official or not. Oh, but I'm sure it's I know official. The page. I know the official. Page. It's not, yeah. Official, I, though. Official, though. You know yeah, what they said? They get the shit. You, you mute up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you they're official, yes. You mute up. No. Meet me on mute. No. <laughs> this is me telling you something I'm right now. I'm paid to talk. Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> 
These niggas always want to pull these little slogans out. <laughs> Only when they apply to y'all, boy. Absolutely. Here we go. Romantic scenes between Shuri and Namor in Wakanda Forever were filmed and tested with audiences, reveals editor Michael P. Shaver. Mm-hmm. That's it, huh? They went in the movie. They tested a whole bunch of shit and said, no, nah, we're not going to do that. What's the problem? I didn't see it yet. It's a weird way of saying you was right, Joe. Oh, strange, okay. You, you, you were strange, correct. You were correct, Joe. There was, there was romantic way. shit. That's a strange way of wording, Joe. You was right again. Oh, my fault. You need to hear that. My bad. You, you were correct, Joe. Need to hear it or should I hear it when it happens? Um, you, uh, you brought it up because you wanted to hear it. it so you might have needed to hear it. Should I hear it when it happens? You brought it up because you wanted to hear it. That one time, and this is why I'm going to change friend groups soon. <laughs> No, honestly, for real, I'm telling you the truth right now. That one time that we was in the escape room and the whole room was stumped over a compass, you got us out of there. And the whole room paused and said, thank you, yo. Without you in this moment, we would have been lost. Just reciprocity, yo. It's not just Lauren Hill that needs it. It's not. Thank you, y'all. Moving thank, right th- along. Th- thank you, bro. Moving right along. Meek and Ross I on like, stage. I like your first and the 15th. Thank you, bro. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, bro. You better stop publicly liking the 15th. You better shut your mouth up. You better you shut see, your little mouth up. I don't know why you are even talking. Right. <laughs> he, what happened on those he, days? He, he keep trying to be Potter yeah. of the year. Yeah, he trying. Oh, he keep trying to walk oh, the line. The you better shut him. up about your little business. <laughs> Come on, Meek and Ross. Meek and Ross hit the stage. Yeah, Meek had a um, a ten year anniversary concert for uh, uh, Dreams and Nightmares album. Round of applause for Meek and brought all the heavy hitters out. But yeah, Meek and Ross on stage together was was a big deal. Looking beautiful. Where was the show? Philly, Philly, of oh, course. Okay. Philadelphia. That's dope. That's what I said. And what the internet said? I don't know what they said. I don't know what the internet <laughs> said either. I ice. I was just, I, you know, I laughed. Wasn't um, sure if it was dope or not. Yeah, I'm, I don't. We knew for, for for a minute we've been hearing rumblings of tension. We haven't seen them together. Oh, you're about to take us out of here. Mm-hmm. Tanner, clip this. And I, <laughs> <laughs> I just felt. This it. is what Ice thinks about the Meek and Ross reunion. Oh, Make man. it spicy too, like the <laughs> podcast dudes. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> Make man. it spicy oh, like man. them other podcast dudes be doing. So I just found a little humor in it because. The way I found out that this even happened was I saw Ross post on Instagram and he tagged, he, he, his caption was Maybach music. Meek hasn't screamed Maybach music in years. So I took this as, you know, because Meek is on this, I'm independent, I'm doing everything this way. I kind of took this as a Ross way of saying, hey dogs, I see what you're doing, but you're still Maybach music over here, buddy. Pow, pow. That sounds like the, not pow, pow. That sounds like just, the opinion of somebody that be taking niggas off albums. <laughs> I didn't take me off anything though. I said niggas. I'm definitely taking niggas off. Sometimes niggas need to be taken off though. I'm just doing the work that the engineer should have did. <laughs> but in this case, it so was you just, want, were you happy about the reunion? Um, yeah, I was happy. happy. Yeah, 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 I was happy yes, about yes, that. Yes, I am happy about the reunion. Okay. I was. Hating. I just think it was a little. Extra motive in there. I was hating. Why hate? I'll be honest here on this part. I was hating a little bit. Why? Because about if you caught a record or a run about six or seven years after I came out, <laughs> I'm tight. You could go for like the next. You could do the shit. You could do this. <laughs> if you caught any motion. From 2010 and on, and not 01, 02, 03, 04, there's still country for you. These kids are erasing history. I just seen a meme going around of all the TikTok kids laughing at the 2012, 2013 era of Mustard, Kid Ink, Fet, when all of those songs, they were laughing, oh, the Fetty Wap era. I was like, wait, oh, hey, 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 wait a minute, you really? kids. Wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, that ha- ageism is a thing in hip hop. It is. Ageism is a real thing in hip hop. It is. If the kids wasn't out, you gotta remember these kids, right? And 
we do this kind of simple math all the time here. We talk about the generation gap. You're four years mm -hmm. older than me, right? Mm -hmm. That if you six seven, that's six in six seven years, there's a whole new crop of niggas that's on the true. internet mm -hmm. with that's new true. opinions, beliefs, that's theories, mm -hmm. ideologies, mm -hmm. and they vocal about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey y'all, I think Eminem was a plant. Wait, huh? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute, you kids. Well, they just learned a new word to run into the ground. That too. That happens. Well, I know. They also never heard of Raucous Records. They never yeah. heard of that battle mm -hmm. scene. They never heard of. They admit they wasn't there. So if you just hear. And you've got 20 years of your little knowledge. These little niggas is quick to tell you they opinion. I think that's such and such. Mm -hmm. That's Smokey Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Kanye put no. that record out with Paul McCartney and it was like, look at this white dude they did a favor for. Yeah. <laughs> that's Paul McCartney. <laughs> you guys. Sir. 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 Play with something safe. Anyway. That, but that's what you kind of get mad Ageism is a thing in hip hop. It is. Like, huh. that's where you kind of get mad. It's like, yo, dog, if you play basketball, like, my my nephews, they watch. Them niggas be watching Rod Strickland. They be watching Stockton. They me, watch. Me. They watch. <laughs> they watch <laughs> yo, we never yo, escaping what, this. Yo, what position yo, you play? We never. I'm asking you, you know what? What All position you play? The wild part? Or hybrid. I was a role model. Yo, Ice, I'm tell them how this goes, yo. You was the two? They you, you should have that. never <laughs> you it, reminded yeah, me that yeah. I had a triple-double against Oak Hill. Or just yeah. created it. You know what's funny? That only matters because it was Oak Hill. <laughs> that's nah, what, that's nah, what makes it great. Nah. Fam. And who said it? Yeah, that 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 that, 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 that's, that holds the weight. The, really? the message? Yeah, hell yeah. What if it was just a regular person that was there? That yeah, no, nah, he's it a ain't, okay. Yeah, whatever. He's just saying that because the nigga said, "Yo, he had a triple double." I gave niggas like fifty. For he, somebody to say, "Yo, 50. I gave somebody fifty in a lifetime." <laughs> no, I gave Oak Hill fifty. <laughs> no. I, they couldn't do that. Right. A lot of time, a lot of timeouts from Oak Hill that game with, with Kurt Small. What's some, what's some frustration? And Coach Gill never seen nothing like that. Yo, <laughs> yeah, fifty from them little timeouts. Just keep, you keep doing that. Yo, dog, just I'm, just I'm in mm -hmm. the corner. That has, to, but that's one of them feelings as a man that you just. Well, for me anyway, that's one that I would love to be able to embellish in. Bro. Like the guy who went out there and scored fifty. No matter what you say about Brandon Jennings. He got, went out there and scored got a 50. 50 in the books. 52. No matter what the experts say about Jamal 52. Crawford, he put 50 up on every team, on all of y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like, when you could do that, like, that's a stat. A stat. And I'd have, that's made, different. A, I'd have made a bunch of your great stumble. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, that nigga Jamal, he'll come down. And, <laughs> yeah, over there. Jamal Crawford is different, different. Different. Yeah. He's different. He's different, 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 different. And you and and another one that's been running from the Joe Budden one on one, Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford. Yo. One on one what? Jamal Crawford. <laughs> how tall, Hello? Tell him how tall he is. Again. Jamal Jamal Crawford. I don't know if you've seen the Oak Hill footage. Oh my! <laughs> Nobody did. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, I, up there I, with I, the Jamal Crawford. Footage. Know he's been running for me for about over ten hey, years fam, now. Fam. fam, I would call him, but I ain't gonna do don't it. Don't Joe. You know that nigga talk slick. No, he talks slick. I know. Chill he out, talks slick. Chill out, yo. One yeah, he talks slick. Relax. Chill out, Leave that one alone. It was like 2013. I was like, you ain't tough, nigga. Blah, 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 blah. He's like, who has the most clutch uh, shots ever behind Kobe Bryant? So, yeah, I don't know. What <laughs> 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 the fuck you talking about? <laughs> Me. He's like, oh, shit. <laughs> when niggas pull out them type of stats on themselves, right. you leave them alone, Fam, man. Any nigga that could come in the NBA gym and get 40 on any given night, mm -hmm. you got it, boss. Yeah. yeah. Did it's niggas that haven't scored that had good careers and did never score forty. I would want to play that with nigga that Jamal can score play. forty on any night, bro. Any day, just a random yeah. Tuesday. Not even just like for fun. That wouldn't be yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, look, random no. Tuesday, I'm coming get forty seven on these Piss niggas. Piss me off. Home. No. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cool. I'm good. I'm All right. Uh, Drake bought Khaled toilets. Round, round of like four of them. I will of hit the round of applause though. I will hit the round of applause and say some bullshit. It was gold. It wasn't gold. Nah, it was the I, fancy joints, though. They was the fancy, the smart, smart, ones. smart yeah, yeah. toilet from a certain brand. I don't remember right now. They cost like nine thousand. He sent like four or five of them, eight of them, something crazy like that. As much as I wanted to clown this action, I thought that this was super Some fly. Kind of fly shit. I, I thought yeah, that yeah. this was super fly. That's I ain't funny. gonna lie to you. Your mother told that's an adult fancy. That's so I fancy. can only imagine what these. Yeah, shit this look was like. that times something yeah. else. And to send nine of them, I thought that that was a real adult gift. That was a real adult gift. It took to some send thought. Somebody, it took some thought. 
Send a homeowner a fancy fucking toilet. A bunch of them. He just bought a new house or something. He sent a bunch, but I mean that's logic. He just bought a new crib or something. Was like a housewarming. Nah, I just been in your house. No, but I've been in your house. I know you're bum ass toilets. Oh, (laughs) you had eight bathrooms, and I don't really like pissing in there. (laughs) I don't like when I go piss in there. I want to feel like home when I'm in your home. Like he did. You know, he sent some sassy message. That's 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 a stunt. That's a stunt. That's a nice gift. That's a nice stunt. though. Some dope shit. Yeah, that's a nice stunt. I was gonna I hate, hate I, when you started saying I was ready to hate. I wanted to hate on it too. That's a nice. That's that's how you start. I couldn't hate on it. I'm not even gonna tell you that I don't like your toilets. I'm just gonna send you some new ones. No, Word of a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and Amazon pull up. You can buy your own Rolls Royce. I'm gonna just get you the bidet with the. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because why you got a Rolls Royce and you ain't got the, the dope toilets? I'm confused. Like, look, you can get super spicy. Oh no, it's, spi- it's all spice. That's what made them. They knew oh, not to give me too much money. <laughs> I'd have got spicy with yeah, a little you bit. You would have. Just a little spicy. Yo, dog, I think if you... If you would have had, like, that Kanye money... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Barack Obama? <laughs> <laughs> you you, you would have went crazy. You think I'd have been obnoxious? What? Just a, little, just a little, little wee bit. You would have went crazy, fam. Well, you can probably hit the Kanye money now now that they done. No, no, I'm talking about the other one. The other one. uh, one. That ain't ain't his money. That ain't his money no more. Not his. Sorry. (laughs) Sorry. Here today, going tomorrow. Mm, Talk about it now. Talk about it. Mm, mm, mm. Me some money. Newark, New Jersey. Never that. I answering you. Unknown number from Newark. You know, we run from that. Yeah, no. Even though that's the door, man, but still. (laughs) No, I answer. Y'all run from that? Oh. Hello? Yes. Sir. Hey, send them on out. Well, we have visitors. Got company. <laughs> yo, why are you sitting there like that, yo? Y'all want to pause or y'all want to talk? Let's or talk. it might be fun to talk. Nah, let's talk. Yeah. Nah, I think, <laughs> nah, I think we should talk. Get it out, get it out, get it out. It's been on. It's been on. Hey, hey, oh, you never stopped it? You never stopped you it. You to him. Why is this funny then right now? I have no idea. I don't even know who it is. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> you know what it is? Yeah, I know who yeah. it is. <laughs> it's the ish killer. <laughs> yeah. Who is it? Sorry, ish killer. You didn't hear what he said? Uh-uh. You want to repeat it? But, all right, no, no. Before we get into that, tell me why y'all are laughing. Don't separate yourselves from my life. Because I'm anticipating. Oh, tell me why y'all are laughing. I'm laughing because I this is getting ready Two to be very, seconds. very, very, yeah. yeah, yeah. This is about to be interesting. I just want to see him glow up real quick. Yeah. On the walk-in. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yo, y'all niggas is <laughs> why would that, why You can't would that say that word, me? sir. Oh, pardon That's me. a bad word. Yeah, yes. Stop. <laughs> oh, my God. Look, cold switching. Look, look, look. <laughs> cold <laughs> <Coast> switching. <laughs> Come on, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? What's, what's going on? I see I got Houston water. What like oh, they, have, they ain't got no water down there. What do you mean no water? Uh, they they have a boil boil. Oh water. yeah, I heard. Yeah. And I for, heard. for all of Houston? I believe so. That's I what know. I heard. Yeah. Shit, what the fuck? Yeah. I don't know. Like I've had we've had them notices where like um there's been issues like a water main would break and then they'd issue a boil notice, but it'd be quick. Like it's Elizabeth. It's not Houston. Yeah. That shit is just scary to me. Like, you can't drink the water. I don't drink the you water. You can't anyway. drink the water anyway. Yeah. You can't shower. That's something different. You can't shower. People got kids. Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta go How many your showers water? you really need to take. Who you ask? Yo, don't 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 <laughs> joke. <laughs> <with> <laughs> yo, don't start this shit. Yo. That shower topic starting to get like religion. <laughs> Man, I just want people to shower. Yo, nah, about no, it. I don't funny. even want to know. I'm gonna keep it a book. It is fun showering when you're extra dirty though. I'm gonna it's keep a better it a shower. Book. I've had mad girls defending the no shower shit, and that shit is crazy to me. Excuse How me? women are, yeah. You ain't getting nothing in yet? I haven't gotten Well, I don't oh, you don't be girls. Respond, you don't be replying to the. I don't even see the DMs. Dog, people like, yo, you don't got, you ain't no difference in men not taking showers and women not taking showers. I'm like, uh, uh, it is. See, and, I, and I personally shower. This is why I'm against men staying out of women's business. <laughs> they need to know that Sometimes no, 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 There's they some need, shit you they need, need to know They need some information And that's my business too Shit starts smelling a little weird in the room A little weird That ain't me ma I'm, I, That wasn't me Yeah no. I'm, nah, I'm, I'm tapping you on your I'm back a, shoulder Right where your baby daddy's t- name is tatted Hey Hey Terrence <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm, call I'm, it I'm sorry. I don't yo. act like this around new people. <laughs> hey, yes. hey, Richard. Hey, yo, T. <laughs> nah, hey. nah. You know, like, got, you know, uh, like, uh, uh, smell a little off. You know, I got the street name on there. Yo, Keller. <laughs> <laughs> Roscoe. Yo, I'm good. Your chicks always fall for a street name. Yo, come on now. You They'll never actually come around the crew to see the nigga go to go into the store for somebody. <laughs> He's like the name. Nigga. Yo, go to the store. Yo, give me. Yo, yo keep, killer. The chain. keep the keep change. Keep the change, killer. Uh, T- killer. Speaking, what speaking, of, speaking of Houston, do you see that uh, Deshaun Watson's coming back against the Houston Texans? Oh yeah, they they had that plan from the rip, and they're bringing the accusers to watch the game from the box. <laughs> you gonna ball out? You lying? <laughs> ten ten accusers. The lawyer bought a box or whatever. That's and nobody has a problem with that. That is that is a definitely a problem. And I'm gonna keep it a buck. If a nigga really sexually don't do that. Yeah. What? Stop. Yo. Because your little your white privilege <laughs> your white privilege makes that face smoother than mine. You're doing the same thing I'm doing. Yo, dogs. <laughs> no, stop. Y'all do it. <laughs> Please. Because I'm gonna kill us. I'm gonna get us gambling. Yeah, worry. All right, all right, all right, I'm, I'm gonna leave so it alone then. Cause that that's some bullshit. I stood on the my lawyers, side. Bullshit. The, the lawyers be playing with the victims. That fam, I'm fam, gonna bring you here and watch, make you watch. I don't see how this up. benefits anybody. Parks, if some, I mean, women, if you had some traumatic listen, shit happen to you, it ain't funny. Cause one of my, people, I don't even want to laugh. One of my people's just yeah, told me something laugh, happened to her last week. Mm-hmm. Right, dog. If some man did something to you inappropriately, mm-hmm. the last thing you should want to do is to be present at the fifty yard game watching him fucking throw touchdowns. I don't get. It's no lawyer that could have coerced this, me into doing that. Is true? Is that true? I feel like yeah, this yeah, might yo, be, yeah. Before I even get into this, is this true? This that's how foul this sounds. Yeah, that's this is true that he's shit. definitely playing against Houston, right? You are, yes, yes. All right, he's cool, playing. Cause, he's cause playing I'm, Houston. I'm, I'm starting him. But yeah, dog. Like if, if, if some man, <laughs> this nigga's a fool. I mean, it's from TMZ. <laughs> it's from TMZ. Oh no, it's true now. <laughs> Yeah, he about to go off. He about to go nuts. Hey, Josh Allen said, "Who the receivers that game?" If they no, don't say yes. A lot of that. A lot of that. Yeah, why you doing all that? Yeah, a lot of that. Fuck. Yeah, you make sure yeah, you'll be getting my shit, that fam. One down, buddy. Yeah, you'll be getting my right, shit. That one right down. Yeah, please. Like, nah, that's come on. That's some nasty work. I don't. Yeah, that's disgusting. And for you to yeah, let you the lawyer to play you like that, you, you a dodo. Are, you lawyers are crazy. Ain't, I ain't even blaming the lawyer. No, yeah, it's the they lawyer. Got to, they got to, yeah, Sam but they got they got to okay, they got to agree to do that. Parse, can a lawyer make me go stand in front of somebody that did some sexual misconduct to me? Fuck you talking about? That's a, at the fifty yard line. But if he's like saying that this might be good for your legal situation or Tell something me how. like that, I don't know. I don't know. Yo, huh? I know this is. And they, they settled already, didn't they? Come on, fam. I know uh, this is foul because right, yeah, it sounds like some Olivia from Law and, Law and Order would do. Olivia break all the laws <laughs> to, to, to get the case done. Nah, when they, especially when it comes to because you know she got on the show. Yeah, she go all out. I doubt if she's gonna have the victims at the fifty yard line. That's what she does, yo. Do yeah, game. yeah. Olivia might do that. What's gonna make him do? Throw an interception. I seen her. Fuck you I hope he don't. I seen Olivia fake. It on the show <laughs> to get somebody in jail. <laughs> yeah, Olivia gonna get you. Olivia she was gonna, foul, gonna, yo. Yeah. It don't be enough on Olivia. Oh, but no, anyway, I, been, I had a whole. It's fine. Why CPS? Never mind. It's man. fine. It's fine. Please. Come yeah. on. What else is important? Uh, Elon Musk says that uh, Apple doesn't want to advertise with Twitter because they must be against free speech. Who wants to tell Elon? I'm a little tired of Elon, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bruh, I see how you get Come along on. with your man. And he also said that um, he posted some shit showing, like, the top 20 or so, um, the biggest donors to the Democratic Party. Mm-hmm. And they was just all, like, huge, huge, huge corporations. And he was like, yo, this don't seem biased to y'all. And it was like, yo, fam, you don't say that when... I'm sure that the Republican the Party's biggest side. donors yeah. and that's my thing. all the same shit. That was my thing. He's annoying. He's, he's annoying. He's annoying. He he is, and if you and if you're Mr. Free Speech and everything being even, I could send my money post the other side of that too. Right. Don't, don't just post one side. Yeah, he ain't get no box. Huh? He ain't get no box. When? High school. Ah. Uh. College. None of that. None of it. He was the nerdy nigga that was just out here smart as hell. He ain't get no girls. And the money got him the girls. Mm-hmm. Your man, yay. Well, thank you for that unpacking. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for who was fucking in high school and who was. Because that, t- that, that tells tell a lot, tell, yo. Fam. You can tell. Like, you can tell these you niggas are cool when they got a couple dollars. Like, mm-mm. you can definitely tell. 
You disagree? No, I don't think <laughs> chicks were running around dying to fuck somebody named Elon in high school. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that strikes me as odd in the first place. Stupid. Yo. <sighs> I thought I should have been getting more pussy in high school too. Why? Well, based on triple double. Triple double. I was just. That's what happened, yo. <laughs> no, nah, it wasn't no girls in that game. <laughs> <laughs> that game ain't nothing. <laughs> there was no people there. Cool. Ice is that hate? From I just said what? I'm asking. You. That, I said it wasn't no hate? people there. Yo. You, you snitching? Yeah, that, word. Hate, word. Yo, come out. We call it from ish. Yeah, yes, yes, right. yes. That was hate ish. I wanted to talk about the Soul Train Awards. I didn't even know they happened because every performance at the Soul Train Awards was magnificent, and they were performances that you wouldn't typically see at the major award Amazing. shows. These performances didn't look like they were dictated by record sales, mm. uh, Who they want star, to sell pow next. star power, selling ads, mm -hmm. the secret part of the award ads. shows. We didn't even know the awards happened. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I have no Well, because it costs money to let y'all know that the awards are happening. But that's what I said. You said it wasn't dictated by selling ads. I'm like, you can tell they wasn't doing that. But uh, let me see if I could find this buying. here. Because I was blown away. I didn't know they were happening either. I only caught when because the performances were that amazing. Let's see. Where are they? Y'all talk while I Which find Which performances them. did you see? Let's see here. When were they? Okay. I think it was Sunday, I guess. Shantae Moore. Mm. We just started last pod with Shantae Moore. Good to see that Shantae Moore still sounds oh. like this. Shantae Moore is not someone you would typically see perform at a big award show. No. Right. Coco Jones. Oh, okay. She gets one of my new favorites. Word. One of my new favorites, Coco Show Jones. But what I'm, when I'm saying performed, I mean these people are highlighted with a light shined on their performance. Attention paid to it, right? Jay Holiday. Mm. Listen to Jay Holiday still sounding good. Who knows that he still sounds good? I wouldn't know that. I was happy to see Jay Holiday. It's good to be 50 years old with a classics record, with a smash. What, bed could come on at any time. It could. And mm -hmm. you're going to respect it. Mm -hmm. uh, How old? Ari Lennox. Ari's probably another one that should perform at more bigger, bigger award Thanks. shows. Hey, yeah, with bands and choirs and tanking Jay Valentine did slowly, highlighted, nice little colorful tuxes they have on. Oh, oh no! That's when I go deep. That part right there. You got to match. Yo, anytime you fucking, you match the lyrics of the song. Hey, extra bonus points. <laughs> uh, what else? What else? What else? Come on, sir. Mm. Listen to the people I'm naming, though. Yeah, musicians. Some guy named Q, a new guy that his voice seems phenomenal. I know Q. Uh. And Money Long stole the show with like a whole mm. Tyler Perry-ish performance that acted out the, the record. Like, I thought more attention should have, be paid, should have been paid to the performances. If Where was this else. aired? This was Saturday or Sunday. But what channel though I'm saying? Or does no. that feel too addy? I just want to go find it and watch the replay no, of that No, I didn't know shit. about it. I forgot. I actually did forget. I didn't even hear about Me it. Me either. One of my I didn't see a little timeline. I, I don't know mm -mm. what channel, but I think the Soul Train Awards are still on like regular TV or BT. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find. It. I want to watch the VH1. Replay. Either way, it would behoove you to see the performances because everybody showed out. That shit sounded amazing. I wish more award shows were based on the merit of the artists and the art. You know, like that whole little letter the Grammy guy put out about this is based on the art. Eh, right, I, yeah. If, if, if that were true. The performances would be indicative of that, nah. such as the Soul Train Award. So but I want to shout out everybody behind that. On the, on the flip side to uh, that. <clears throat> BT? Yeah, BT. Yeah, on the flip side to that, you said you wish more award shows did it. You know, we didn't even, a lot of people, like you said, it costs money to, to Art run. don't generate revenue, yo. Yeah, so it's like, we here to make money. Yeah, yeah we might want to, focusing on the art only might not be what makes us money. We need it's to go get line. these It's names. a fine line yeah. between the two. It's, it's a little hard. It's a fine line between the two. Shit ain't easy. Super Bowl don't give a fuck who win. We just selling ads, yo. And that's the business side. We want a good game, yeah. but if we don't, we want these teams here. Giants, Cowboys, this. most viewed regular season football game in the history of the in, NFL. In history. Really? At 45 million. 42 million. 
The other day? I thought it was 45, 45 but it don't matter. Yeah, yeah last yep. week. Damn, okay. To put that in perspective, the Super Bowl, I think, only gets 100 mil, 110 mil, something around here. Oh, wow. And it was a regular season game. Regular season game. Thanksgiving game. With so us down three Play offensive still. linemen and two sisters. <laughs> Let me just keep throwing that one out there. Yeah, it got me zero points. That's what I can't even look at Ish no more. Now I got to fucking look at the commanders on my back. <laughs> 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 look yeah, at me. Play I water. can't even talk to Ish no more. I got to look at the commanders. I'm glad you know. That's cool. Ish, I'm a realist. <laughs> Depending on the day. I'm a realist. I wish that you would be a realist. It depends on the day. I'm always a realist. Uh, all right, you got it, fam. And want... the realist. Double entendre. Oh, Double entendre. Don't even ask me how. What else is super important out did, there? Did, speaking of the commanders, did you guys see the uh, the thing, the Sean Taylor uh, statue celebration oh, situation that got everybody in a tussle? Disgusting. He's trying to piss us off. It's disgusting. He's trying to piss us off, man. <laughs> I was trying to skip yeah. it. It's disgusting. They, uh, somebody, somebody report him. Your Tell man us. Dan Snyder put up a quote-unquote thing honoring Sean Taylor. You remember Sean yeah, Taylor? Yeah, yeah. Rest, in peace, Rest in peace, Sean Taylor. Rest in peace. Um, Hell of a it, player. It ended up being like some makeshift mannequin bullshit. It wasn't like a real... Yeah, it was like a mannequin. Type. It was basically it was a mannequin. Some bullshit. Yeah. Uh, he went to cheat. Well, everybody went... He's a multi-multi... No, no, I'm saying he went to... Yeah, but everybody, everybody, that. everybody was up in arms about it. Like, As they should be. As they should be. Don't, don't honor me if you're going to do some bullshit. Leave me alone. See? That was my take on Chris Brown and the AMAs. I don't even call my phone if you're just about to turn it into a mess. Mm -hmm. And he, he, they, that shit's picking up traction too. Like, I think they about to make that shit on the next award show, whoever it is. Uh, if it's the Grammys, I'd steal it. Yeah, come on over here and do that. Oh, I would 100%. Yeah, I'd steal it. Hell yeah. I steal it. But Jesse, and they, and Jesse, they Jesse does the all them shit, so I wouldn't be surprised to see that tribute pop up somewhere. Yeah, the Grammys have been losing clout with the blacks anyway. I'd definitely make it up right here. Come on over here and celebrate, Michael, and yourself. Because okay. that shit is fire. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't see that happening. But I would love to see it. The, the, the Grammys and them, they playing a different type of business game. Yeah, we need to win this black business back. I, I get that, but it's a lot of people that are going to be pissed off with that as well. They don't want backlash. They want to keep it as low as, and, and as right. less waves and ripples as possible. I don't see it happening. Hmm. I would love you know I would love it but nah that's your man but I don't know they play they play they play I think we starting to show the power in the black dollar but let's see y'all about to see it true I don't care how many Christmas lights they put on new shoes I'm good. Somebody walked in the executive meeting at Balenciaga with Christmas lights and they put them in the bags and the shoes and everything else. Ain't going to get me, buddy. <laughs> no sir oh, Bob. That shit could blink up all it want the little bees. Nope. Oh, I need to sell my shit. It's just cost too much. Just look. Nah, just do like my do like my son. Throw him in the incinerator. Yeah, good. When shout the last time you've been buying an incinerator? Shout, shout the mice. When the last time you've been buying an incinerator? I ain't never know they still had incinerators. That's poor people shit, right? I, I wouldn't know See? that about See? people. You. Yo, Damn, you're not, trying, you're not walking me off the ledge, my nigga. I'm good. He be trying to get somebody. I, I'm asking him a question. I wouldn't know. <laughs> All right, forget it then. Oh, man. This poor people <laughs> shit. I just want to say, you guys have been really enjoyable for me this pod. I don't know why that is, but man. You know, you triple double high, so everything's in that's, yeah, that's, that's what it is. That's what I mean. I just can't believe y'all hate it on that, yo. <laughs> why wouldn't we? Because y'all are friends. That's why we hate it. That's backwards in the male community. Nah. In, in the black community, we got to reverse that. That's horrible. <laughs> All right, part of the show. Part of the show. Okay, we have YN. Shout out to YN. Shout out to YN. Hey, YN. YN says, okay, feeling a little triggered. My bad. Hi, guys. Okay, so I'm watching, I believe, episode 581, and y'all just spoke about what is okay for your woman to wear around the house. Ish referred, to mo uh, Ish referred to monitoring what his woman could and would wear as to not entice his homeboys based on her body type. And I had to pause to write this. In a previous relationship, a dude policed what I could wear because of my curvaceous and thick body. That policing, best word I can think to describe it right now, around the house seemed understandable, especially considering when his homeboys was over, like in Ish's example. Unfortunately, I love the plot twist. <laughs> that type of governing of my wardrobe turned wild when, 
at a family function, he decided that my garb was inappropriate. Mind you, we were surrounded by his family, a party for his gay uncles, that's shade, which was a luau, and his sister dressed me. He ended up getting loud and eventually picking me up to attempt to stuff me in his car, saying how he was taking me home. Yeah. His br- <laughs> we, all, we all seen that guy at the party. <laughs> yeah. The wolves is out. Carrying yeah, your yeah, yeah, yeah. girl out over the shoulder. Put, put in the back. Get, 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 get your, your fucking you. ass out of here. His brother had to check him hard. It caused a rift between them for a while. My question for Ish and any of you gents. What, when does the do's and don'ts of what your girl wears become toxic? Do y'all ever consider the trust for your girl's decision making when deciding the boundaries of her dress. Since she directed this to you, I'm gonna direct it to you. Oh, actually, this is a great question to ask with a woman around. It definitely is. Mm-hmm. And we happen to have a woman around, so I'm gonna ask her to join us specifically for this in case Ish gets out of line. <laughs> we have Ish's kryptonite, <laughs> the Ish killer. Some of you know her as Melissa Ford. Others know her as Mel. This guy's a Let's hit the round of applause. Come on, come in, Mel. You come on, help us out. You should have cued I'm looking for woman. applause. I'm looking for some applause. Here we go. Hey. Hey, come on. Sit right. Come on. Come on. It's a little different from last time you were here. Get comfy. We're out the basement. Yes, we're out the basement. No shade. No shade. No, shade. no, no, no shade, shade on the whatsoever. basement. Millions were made yeah. down there. Yeah, no, no it was, the that was the fantastic. The boots, we could see everything now. Yeah. I got dressed for you guys. Thank you for joining us. I love you guys. We love, I love, we you. love you guys. You back. I do. And you look great. Thank you. You're welcome. I appreciate that. I try not to tell women that when they have like 30 years of hearing that. I'm like, you cool. <laughs> no, you know you what? Right. At, you that, look, at, right. at that point, you know you, ha- you know how to judge certain compliments. You know, uh, you judge who they come from and what you believe the intention behind them is. Trained assassin. Yeah. She's a trained assassin. I mean, don't I look like a fucking ninja? Hello. A little bit of ninja. A yeah. little yeah. ninja yeah. right? And, yeah. s- and sound like a ninja a little okay. bit. And I'm sure I have the same results as ninjas. Mm. <laughs> I'm positive. Killing I'm positive killing of that niggas. one, too. <laughs> Silently killing niggas. Uh, thank you for joining us. Yes. I also love your audience. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they love you too, by the they, way. I, I, do you know, I've been trying to, I've been trying to get uh, Mel to come fuck with niggas for a long time. <laughs> Let me just say that. And let me yeah. tell you something. L.A. is a fucking vacuum. OK, like once you get in there, like it just holds you, it just keeps you like you're just like get swirling in that fucking airbags, you know, so Come to New York. I know. Yeah. Energy. But now the new digs. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I could be the uh, studio man. Studio manager. Level two. <laughs> oh, I could hear those relationship yeah. conversations already. <laughs> mm. I don't know if it'd just be me having them. I'll be in the back like, hey, what are y'all motherfuckers <laughs> talking about? OK, that yeah. would be awesome. It would be awesome. <laughs> we would love that. It would be amazing. Uh, ish. Yeah. She asked a bunch of different questions. Um, well, her final question, I'll read it to you I, again. No, I got it. I got oh, okay. it. I think the toxicity was already there. I don't think the woman's clothes um, makes the guy or his response toxic. I think that's an insecurity in the man already. That's my personal opinion. Um, however, there is, in my opinion, a line that is crossed. So when you step outside, if you're in a relationship, you represent your partner. Guy and girl. So women oftentimes look at it from a one-sided thing. It's like, yo, dog, if your man got a big dick and he outside every day wearing basketball shorts or gray sweats, you have a problem with that. Stop acting like you wouldn't have a problem with that. You would have a problem with that. (laughs) Have you ever policed your man's wardrobe? If that nigga tried to leave the house in gray sweatpants, no, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, no, I've never, I've never policed what my man. And this is was... more so about what your partner wears in the house when company comes over. See, so I said it was a bunch of different parts. Yeah. But so initially, last pod we had a conversation where um, I talked about. We asked like I forgot what the question was, but <clears throat> my thing was, yo, there was a time when one of my exes. She just will wear what we wear at home. Mm-hmm. But no, regardless of whoever was there, she'd continue You're to in wear your 20s, so sometimes women don't feel like that may be inappropriate. So I think that's the guy's job to step in and say, hey, yo, 
Change but it. there was one little thing on your list that shook the table for mm-hmm. the audience. They looked at it like it was toxic, and I don't think so. No, I think tell that. Her. So I said, "Yo, if your girl is voluptuous, mm-hmm. that's first, mm-hmm. right? Because we all dress for our body types, mm-hmm. right? So if your girl is voluptuous and she's walking around with a halter top on and some spandexes, I think that's inappropriate. Yo, go throw on one of my t-shirts, some sweatpants, some shorts, or something, and rock out. The spandex is what shook the table I mean, for the audience. The, ah. No, it's it's honestly when you're walking around with a voluptuous body, you're literally walking around with an arse of weaponry. I mean, like that's just the reality of the situation. And the, mm-hmm. and the truth of it was really evident during one Super Bowl. Um, I can't remember which one it is. I feel like it was like 2007 when Indianapolis was playing Chicago. And they had a Lane Bryant intimates wear um, commercial. And they've had Victoria's Secret, you know, lingerie commercials all over the TV. Mm-hmm. Didn't matter. It did Super Bowl, Monday, whatever the fuck. But nobody said anything. Mm-hmm. These Lane Bryant models, and if you know what Lane Bryant is, mm-hmm. it's, it's for much, it's mm-hmm. for uh, curvier women. Mm-hmm. I mean, they were just everything. The cup runneth over. I, they look, <laughs> they looked so good. And I'm straight as they come, but these women looked yummy. The Uproar was unbelievable. <laughs> You'd swear that these women had just walked a catwalk with fu- with KKK hoods on or something like that. From the uproar, the the how obscene and inappropriate. I was like, obscene, really? Full figured yeah. women's bodies are obscene. I was like, the Christian crowd needs to just you know fundamentalists need to just sit the fuck down, okay? So, but that's the reality of the situation. So for me, give them your Twitter handle my, in case they disagree with you. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and give them your Twitter handle in case they disagree with you out there. So, no, but so I'm not finished. So <laughs> even in my 20s, I had optics, you know, and that's just for me. When I was home, chill for me would be sweatpants, and I would be extremely cognizant of who came through the door. Even though this is my domicile, Mm -hmm. this is where I live and I can make the rules. If my man is there and his friend just came over, you know, it's different from me being on a magazine. This is front center, this is personal. Mm -hmm. I don't want, I just, for my own comfort level, I would want to be a little bit more um, discreet because I just- And understanding your weaponry. Yeah, yeah, you know, and like people will be, will probably be like, but you were on the fucking covers of magazines and your underwear, bitch. Like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? And I'm just like, mm, that, it's different. that was it's, different. Yeah. It was it's like, different. it was, it was, you know, I, it was a profession. Yeah, if you know a, a chick does yeah. porn, I mean, and you want to fuck every ex. dude <laughs> running around the street. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's the same exactly. Thing. And so at one point, like, I had like a female roommate and she had a boyfriend. And anytime I knew her boyfriend was coming over, it's my apartment where I pay the rent, but you better believe I put on sweatpants, t-shirt, whatever, I, because I, I, do, I don't want there to be any, I don't want there to be like, you know, any coloring outside the line. I don't, don't want there to be that? any, you know, questions same, same. of, well, your intention. Now, did she respect me in the same way? Absolutely not. Mm. I had a guy come over, this bitch was in fucking booty shorts and I was just like. <laughs> did she have a booty That's, though? There you go. Let me tell you something. She walked out the room. He was just like. Girls do that a lot. Not even on <laughs> her best day <laughs> and your worst would I. I said, you don't even have to tell me that. Honey. No, but I mean. It's the fact that she doing it. It's a, just it's the a, fact that she yeah. did it. Everybody I was just like, I'm in the wrong Melissa fucking situation. Ford to fuck the roommate. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What are you talking about? I mean, stranger things have happened. But so it, mm. she is basically in agreement with me. That I is just, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a level of decency and appropriateness. And insecurities too. The, like, yeah, dog. but I like, do, that matters. Now, how do you feel about outside of the house? Because that was the second part of her this, question. So, uh, 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 it's two parts. When you step outside your door, you representing your dude. Mm-hmm. So, if my girl is walking outside with fishnets on to church, that's a representation of the man. Now, mind you, she can wear whatever she wants to the wear. Church says, "Come as you are." I know. <laughs> Ish don't. <laughs> Okay, ish, don't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But yo, no, I'm just saying. And again, the, hot, the the flip side is I wouldn't wear something that my you girl wouldn't wear deemed fishnet either. inappropriate. <laughs> that too. 
So it, yeah, it depends on the guy too. Like some guys, some niggas don't care. Some guys really love yes. when they when their girl flexes, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and like she got the body and mm -hmm. she puts on like the skin tight shit, and mm -hmm. every motherfucker wants her. He likes That's to true. be a voyeur for that shit, and That's I've true. definitely dated that guy where he just stood by the bar and watched the just the chaos ensue. The, but it's, it's a fun. different. And he That's felt fun. so good That's knowing fun. he was going home with yep. me. That's fun. Yeah. And That's fun. and get big, get hard. Yeah. 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 But, yes, but also what difference. was the biggest it's turn on for me was the security that just, he felt in himself indeed. to literally mm -hmm. just sit there at the bar with a smile on his face mm -hmm. and not just let you none of not that. Yeah. just go you let got, me just feel like you that nigga but yeah. then like you that nigga me like, cozy. Yeah. but then yeah. I literally yeah. dated right after him dated a guy who was wanted to you know just is there police. a difference in sexy and raunchy uh, yeah, absolutely. So yeah. your girl being sexy, she's just yeah. gonna be sexy. She could wear mm -hmm. some jeans and some stilettos, nigga, with a blazer on and shut shit down. Mm -hmm. But it, there's a difference in having all your ass out, having you know what I'm saying? Like it's just a different thing. Like give me your Twitter handle in case they want to talk to you. <laughs> they know I'm about what you're saying. They already, they already know. I, 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 so that's just my personal opinion. I think every relationship, those two people decide what is appropriate in their relationship. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm and saying? I, and I, I agree that like there's toxicity already present with his mm -hmm. desire to want to police mm -hmm. in the first mm -hmm. place. You know, mm -hmm. so that's already present. Based in insecurity. At, at the end of the day, when you're in your 20s, you know, this is the time for you to make all the fucking stupid ass mistakes. mistakes, you know, but it's also the time where you are basically going to be the best version of yourself. Like you are, you're shiny and glossy and you're stunning and whatever else. You should have a lot of fun with that. You know, I wish that I'd had more fun with my 20 year old we my 20s you know what i mean yeah, we definitely got to talk to you on patreon <laughs> <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting too much cap off right now <laughs> you wish you had more that. fun huh i was so reserved i was so reserved <laughs> <laughs> i know nobody believes me Yo, you know we was running around what we were running around the streets of new york who was joe and i oh okay oh. and then what happened don't put me in it <laughs> Don't put me in it. No. Y'all never saw me in the running around the streets. Did I you? Didn't. I, I didn't. It was. I didn't. I know you didn't. I didn't. Yeah. I bumped into you at the work functions. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I did. What did you? Did and you? I ain't have it, so I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I was off the porch for a very long time. I wasn't shooting at your, the likes of y'all. I was, I was so reserved. Like you know, I would, I really. <laughs> yo, this guy is a sucker, yo. You are a you are a podcast extraordinaire. You are a sucker. I'm here. Yo. That's what I'm here to do. I know. I, I'm gonna let you rock. Holy <laughs> shit! All right, I shot at a couple of them. Just a, yeah, couple of them. Just this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking nigga, yo. <laughs> Oh. Is this some inside shit going on? That I, no, what's no, no. happening here? No, it's not. Joe is lying. He's lying. teasing me. That's what right. it is. He's right. teasing me. Okay. It's fine. Okay. Uh, but you are the king of podcasts. See, that's okay. why I fuck with Mel, man. Mm -hmm. I love Mel. I Mel mean. is our women correspondent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call it how I see it, you know? So, yeah, again, I back to Wayne's question. I would have been putting all types of sheepskins on her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mich put, hey, Michelin hey, coats. Hey, put this comforter Seven over you. You know what I missed? Wrap out. this up. Seven Yo, remember loses. when they had like the Manolo Blahnik fucking Tims? Mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that I missed that. Good times. I, yeah, good, good times. Yeah. I missed that. You girls went crazy with those. Yeah, they, <laughs> they did. They did. man, Steve Madden. I was going to say, no, they the went crazy up. with the Steve Madden. <laughs> that is true. They Steve. was hard to find. The Manolos friend, was friend hard of the find. show. Mm. Friend of the show, Steve Madden. All these years later, mm -hmm. even after jail, making about two hundred billion or something crazy. It's a crazy number. Yeah. No, they got the Steve Madden Balenciagas up. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. The they Balenciaga got sneakers. Steve. They got Steve Madden ones. Steve, man, Steve ain't playing. Uh, I see. And people going to buy them too. <laughs> yeah, everybody can't afford eight hundred dollars sneakers. I, ain't I know. Could you that. believe that? Sure. The nerve. <laughs> Yo, the nerve. <laughs> All right, moving on, moving, moving on, moving on, moving Stupid. on. Can you hang out with us for a little while? You can stay for a little while? I can stay for a while. I just have to ask, what are those on your feet? What are those? Uh, Bottegas. Bottegas? Are they really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the nerve. He's so cute. <laughs> You're so cute, Joe. No, he's just so like, cute. he's just so comfy now. <laughs> 
So that money, that money just gets you in a comfortable yeah. zone. Huh? It's just, <laughs> it's just, why are you laughing at me? Because they're fucking horrendous. But I mean, they're probably like mm-hmm. six fifty. No. No. Look at his face. What? Don't insult my feet. <laughs> yo, this thing is bougie, yo. You know how to work. No, six, don't insult oh my, my feet. God. What the hell is 650? Per, per yo, shoe, maybe. That, that's maybe. that off white stuff that the kids wear. Yeah, no. These Who shit. are you, bro? <laughs> but no, Mel, listen. Yes, if you yes. must, If you must know, yeah. and then we're, then we're ending this show. Okay. I forgot how she just adds chemistry to all of okay, us. Okay, sorry. Listen. Yeah. I don't think how I dress now is too far off how I used to dress, right? These, I used to wear Uggs. One time we was on tour. They stopped the tour bus. We was in like some cold part of Canada. It was an Ugg store. I went in there. I bought the Uggs that we wear still to this day. And I was the first rapper to wear them Uggs outside in his normal travels. You know the ones, mm-hmm. the slipper the ones slippers. with the fur in it. <laughs> yep. And nigga said, those ain't for outdoors. And I said, suck my dick. <laughs> so now any of these joints with the fur in it. Mm-hmm. Is Joe's copying immediately? Got it. So it ain't about how it look on the outside. It ain't about when the you boots barefoot, with the fur, it's about the shoes with the fur. Got it. Yeah, I got it. That, that's all. I feel like right? you dissed me somehow. I know. I swear Don't to God, say a I flow did. rider song about oh, my, about so my <laughs> footwear. Don't flow rider me out with my I footwear. Know, oh, no, these are nice boots too, though. I thank you. You know, I just I pulled. Women these just add an energy to just anything. What? I just pulled these out the closet. Some light. Swear to God, because regularly, no. Regularly, I am in uh, uh, yoga pants and sneakers and Pilates socks. That gets it done too. That's by the way. literally, <laughs> literally. That, 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 that's the same thing. That's the same thing without the boot. Yeah, yeah that's the, boy yeah. shorts. Yeah, for the most for the most part, it is. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Yeah, chick ain't been How, to the gym you, in seven you, years. You, walk around right, every day question, with gym yeah. clothes on until later. Anyway, because okay. I have more questions. If you and Ish were in a relationship, how far into the relationship do you think he'd have a heart attack? Why would I do that? Your Why name is not Mel. What does that mean? I'm asking Mel. My name is nigga. I'm asking Mel. Oh, uh, you be, be <laughs> Um, I mean, well, there's like so many factors involved. with your yoga outfits. Involved. With the, you know what I mean? Never. He would try, he'd probably just be very happy. Erickson Zoom in. Aha, uh-huh, you asshole. <laughs> you ain't get no content. <laughs> Why I didn't? You asshole. Why I didn't? Zoom in closer now. <laughs> All right, come on. Mic check, mic, mic, mic check. One, two, one, two. When it go... I watched y'all rappers run away from this one, too. He left enough beat there for y'all. I think Ross might have gave him one, but that don't count. Ross always do it. Wait a minute! That's hate. That's hate. That's he, hate. He hate on a bunch of shit. Most yeah, R&B. Yeah, he got R- a lot of hate There's records. There's bad hate on R&B. Trey. I don't want an R&B song if it's not hating. What well, Trey? What Trey? Trey I mean, was just arrogant. I ain't been in sex. The neighbors know my name. Trey be hurting. Wait, we can't talk about Trey no more. I forgot. Why? I there's play, a lot, I there's played, a lot going I on. I played a Trey record on Amp. I mean, they, they, they almost shut the shit down. <laughs> can't play no Trey no more. You can't. You can't. <laughs> Ask Mel. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> they taking fire. They taking niggas with slaps. <laughs> Yo, keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Rest in peace, Hove. Until next time, we bid you adieu, farewell, adios, arrivederci, hasta la vista, au revoir, so long, goodbye. And most importantly, remember, life is a series of moments, and moments pass, so let's make them last as if it's all we have. Cherish your people, cherish your fucking toast, your go-outs, your group chats, hug your people, tell them you care about them, and hopefully they receive you better than my friends did about my (laughs) triple-double. You can hear the salt in my voice still. <laughs> Y'all hold it down. We'll be back. Same time, same place. Hey! Let me hear you! Boop, boop. That's what that <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we out of here, man. Y'all hold it down. Thank you to Melissa Ford for hanging out with us. Mm-hmm. We're going to hang out a little bit more. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm not leaving. No, don't. Please. No, like, no, I'm moving the fuck in. <laughs> All right. I like that. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Just me? <laughs> hey! All right. Great pod today, gentlemen. Amazing job. 
Hovain, we love you. Let's never let yes, that sir. be forgotten. Our God. Nujoba and Anafatadi.